So, at the end of the last session, we left off with you all beginning to go on the road to the town of Lopstad, where you were to, where you were told you could <clears throat> you could stay at a local tavern. Um, Fosto never told you the name of the tavern keeper, did he? I don't think he, he did, did not. I'm not well, sure. Don't it, so. All he told you was there is a woman who is running a local tavern who he used to be friends with who would probably let you stay there. Um, I I think I messed up how long it would take you to get there. I think it would probably take around... around four hours to get to the border, and about another, uh, another five or six hours to get to Lopstad. You want me to send you a traveling pace? Yeah, uh, so I sent one to me, and that's why okay. I changed the... <laughs> That's why I changed it, because it's about a hundred miles, and that takes about a day to get there. Yeah. Um, it was around 3 p.m. when you all No, started. no, no. It, that would take a, a significantly longer amount of time. Well, on cart, it says it takes... Oh, it? on cart. Yeah, okay, I just have cart. foot. It, it says it takes... Uh, you travel 20 to 30 miles on an average speed per day. But if you're going maximum speed, 100 miles a day. Cool. Does the fat cat have that much stamina, though? <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> well, uh, at the end of the last session, it was about 3 p.m. So, would you all like to go ahead and go or take a long rest? You said it takes about eight hours to get there. Could we not do it on the way? It takes about four hours to get to the border and about another four oh, or five hours to get to Lopstead. I'm, I'm sure so long nine, resting, but nine it's up to, to you ten guys. Hours total. Yeah, I like the long rest, honestly. <clears throat> well, you did... Sure, I'm just, done. Just, just, um, you did just escape a prison. <laughs> That's true. Oh. Um, you know. I believe, uh, your plan was for someone to keep driving the cart while the rest of the people slept. And so we were going shifts. to do it in... We are going to do it in two-hour shifts. The way that long resting works in D&D is as long as you get six hours of sleep and two hours of light activity, such as watching, uh, you're good. Um, while, while traveling, Sai, Luke, and Jerry's characters all remember that when traveling to Tesca on, on the main roads, there are some, like, guarded borders that you have to, you have to go through to get into the into the country would they okay. know about escapee prisoners they likely wouldn't okay actually you wouldn't know that oh hey you'll know <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, oh, my how, well we, how well do we know the information network of the country we're currently in <laughs> well I, they don't have like not every At guard has a sending stone to every prison to every right. town in the world <laughs> Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take... It would likely take some time for the info to get to them to be on lookout yeah, do for we know... fugitives. Another thing is how um, how magically inclined is the country we're in? Um, well, most countries in the world are pretty magically inclined, but I'd say Pesca isn't very. They're, okay. they're on the lower so, side. So we likely have little to worry about. Yes, but most likely within the next few days, they would get pictures of you. They would right. stare know at something would. other than the monkey. <laughs> yeah, please. I was just starting to draw on him. <laughs> I mean, I can give you one of the old maps. <laughs> I the world map would be great. Oh, I don't visual, have a uh, map on here. Oh, okay. I can save a picture of it though. But um, so it doesn't matter. Just Go tell on. me your plan <laughs> while I do this. Oh, um, the the plan was to just travel and then long rest. Travel, sleep what we no. travel, sleep what we can, and then once we get there, we'll we'll kind of figure it out from there, depending on what the guards are doing. What's, what's likely going to happen is we're only going to have time for a short rest because we're going to be interrupted every once in a while. That's fine. Our, so our interruptions not like if you have a five minute inter interruption, are you not still able to take a long rest? That should be fine. As okay. long, like, heck, even if you have a combat encounter, it should be okay, as long as you just immediately get back to it. 
Alrighty, well then we will go ahead and get this going. From what I rem remember, Nixie was taking the first watch on yes. session. Yes, yes she would. Okay. <clears throat> For the first two hours of travel, nothing really happens. You maybe see like a couple animals moving throughout the forest on your left and right yep. side, but that's about it. If someone else okay. would like to Fantastic. take up watch next. I'll go next. Oh, I'm sorry. Next. Um, Nixie is going to choose who goes next. No. Because oh. nobody is awake to take the. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is true. Um, she would actually probably wake up Phil. Phil will wake up and go, go to a seat, but Nixie, oh. you'll you'll notice him take a swig of like alcohol as he sits down. <laughs> um, is that safe? I have a high tolerance. It'll be fine. I need something to take off the nerves, if anything. I see. Wake me up if there's any problems. I will. All right. Good luck, Phil. Thank you. She lays down. This is so bad. Okay. Well, would you like to start getting the cart going? Yeah, I I move on to. Okay. This map oh, is so fine. bad looking on here for some reason. Just it's the best I can do. <laughs> <laughs> well, after... I'm sorry. What did you say? So I looked like I was drawing all over the map. <laughs> I found something on my end. After after about an hour and a half, you you seem to spot like a I don't know how to best describe this like a a gate in the middle of the road. It's a pre it's a pretty far ways away from you right now, but you would know that this is. This is the border to the kingdom of Sinas. Can I see if there's a way around? Is it just a gate with walls, or is there no walls? It's a gate with walls up until the forest on the right and left side of the road. So you can't really get the cart into the forest. You could try, but... You know that uh, in, on the borders, all they really do is take your name and, um, <clears throat> and like, keep a record of you leaving and entering the country. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I'm gonna bring the card up to it. Okay. Do you... <clears throat> Who goes there? Hi, I'm Bill Padalopoulos. <laughs> <What? laughs> <laughs> Hello! Should that be a deception? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I am trying to deceive you. Um, Go ahead wait. and roll a deception. <laughs> Dang! Oh. Good rolls, good rolls, good rolls. <laughs> that's, an odd, that's an odd name. I, I agree, but you can't choose your name, can you? No, well... What are, what are you doing traveling? This would probably be about... I'd say 9pm now. Wait, no, I don't know math. Three. Four, five, six. This would be about seven oh PM. <laughs> <laughs> this would be about seven PM. What are you doing traveling this late at night? Oh, we're just a band of adventurers. We're on our way to our next a quest. band. There's people in the court. It's me and my thoughts mostly. We're gonna have to take a look at the back of your cart. That's fine. It's just me and my friends. As uh, a few men walk up to the cart, they spot the cat uh, driving the cart. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. That's not usual at all. Are you a wizard? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Deception again. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay. I can't fail deception checks. I can only do a 10. But if that's uh, not correct, difficult. If you can only do a 10, then yeah. Okay. It, it, it wait, it wait. Does it does it automatically set the the dice roll to ten or the total to ten? It, it automatically sets the total, I think, to ten. That's Let me fine. See. Because it might it might set the dice roll to ten, in which in which case you can't get lower than a sixteen. Either way, I think you succeed. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, we're 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 still gonna take a look at the back of your cart. That's fine. Don't wake them though. My friends are sleeping. We need we to take rude. their names. Oh, I can give you their names. I I think I'd rather get it from them. Fine. So uh, one man goes to the back of the cart and uh, opens it up and tries to wake you all. 
Nixie springs to action, her hand whipping out a dagger and breathing heavily. <laughs> Whoa! He, he takes up his sword. Hey, hey, I don't mean you any harm. We don't want to get any any blood here. Nixie, it's a it's it's a porter patrol. Uh, oh, I see. We we just need your names. Sorry, last time I was waking up like that. Well, she puts the dagger away. He just said your name was Nixie. Crap. I'm That's so more of a nickname for me. Okay. Well, he writes down your name. How many guards are there? Are there? Total? There are about six total. Mm. There's like four outside of the car, two or three. <clears throat> uh, at the if you would like gate. my full name, it is Argent Amanea Kythus. Okay. He he doesn't want to ask you how to spell that. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of your names. He looks around to the other people in the car. Uh, I am. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit groggy from the nap and all. I am uh, uh, Mark. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> I feel like that one uh... has to be a deception with disadvantage. <laughs> I am fine with that. <laughs> I'm uh, Mark. Mark. Uh... <laughs> Is that a Mark too? <laughs> Still a 14, dang. I don't think that's so bad. Mark, last name? Uh, Evan. <laughs> Mark Evan! Oh my god! Why did you have to roll so good for the deception? Mark Evan. <laughs> <laughs> My occupation is white male. <laughs> he, he writes Dude. down your name on a clipboard. All right. And and you, he looks at Jack Show. Does Jack, Jack Show, Show. sleep in his mask? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. Uh, <clears throat> Did you say your name was Jack Show? Jack Show. That yeah. is me, if you must. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to say. Well, we'd prefer to get it. It's Bob. B Bob? Again. Bob's? Did you say Bob? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just yes. that. <laughs> My pet. Oh. Bob. Oh. Also, okay. Uh, with just normal? Yeah. There's some odd names. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a really good deception roll. Uh, <clears throat> is there anyone else in here? We, we no, got, there is not. Good night. Bill. We, we got Nixie. Okay. Well, you you guys can go on your way then. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, have, have officer. A, have a good uh, rest. Come on, pumpkin. And I. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, did you did you just say pumpkin? Did, yeah. did your character say that? Oh my oh, god. No. Oh my god. No. <laughs> the cart disappears <laughs> from under oh you. Oh my no. god. <laughs> <laughs> the cart disappears from under you, and you all Hopefully fall you're sleeping the on the back of the cat and just kind of fell to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my! Um, uh, what just Looks happened? like my magic is going out of control again. I really need to get a grasp on this. You're the magician? Yup. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Why do you have to be so bad at it? <laughs> <laughs> Deception, I guess. Like, I didn't. Well, I didn't need it until you said yes. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 I had to fail eventually. What consequences would that even bring? <laughs> Nixie, oh my god! Nixie shoots. Nixie shoots Malachi a look. You wish. 
Uh, <laughs> oh, so you're the magician. Her eyes flare with golden light. Yeah, you definitely are. No, okay. Actually, I am the magician. Jack Show, at your service. <laughs> Nixie pulls her hood up. Articus situation. Nixie pulls her hood up as low over her face as it'll go, and just kind of like slinks away in embarrassment. Uh, listen, I just want to go back to sleep. You, you guys can leave now that we have your names. Again, buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> the cart reappears in thin air uh, no, was before. I will be happy to put on a performance for you in the future as a thank you I get All into right. the cart <laughs> so what okay so we got Malachi as Mark Evans, Evans. And then no no I, no Evans well, Evans <laughs> so I already put Evans. it in the chat. Oh, you put it in the chat. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pippin, Paddlop, Pippin, Paddlop, huh? Yeah. And then <laughs> Nixon was just her real name. Unfortunately. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was my bad. Well, the rest of you can go back to sleep after about thirty minutes of travel. No, as soon as. As soon as we uh, start traveling, Nixie goes up to the front of the cart and glares at <laughs> Phil. Phil starts sweating and just starts staring straight ahead like he could see him <laughs> obviously shaking. Phil? Yes? Do you know what this means for me? I don't. Going on record with my real face with my real name. You couldn't have woken us up before we got to the gate? I figured I could handle it myself. It was just a boredom with your legs. You handled back. it beautifully. She, um, turns away and goes to the very back of the cart and lays down. You can thank myself, Nixie, for saving <laughs> your precious derriere. Mark Evan... <laughs> Nixie, for what oh, it's God. worth, I do apologize if that disadvantaged you in any way. Jack Show, if you ever describe my derriere in any form or fashion <laughs> ever again, you will not come. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna get the travel going again. Phil <laughs> <laughs> After... <laughs> starts drinking a lot more <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> 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 After about 30 minutes, it's, it's been two hours of you uh, keeping watch, Sai. So you can d you can choose to wake someone else up if you want to. He gets up and kind of stumbles into the car. Hey, show! Jack, show! And he kind of, like, moves him. Wait, this is your... Oh, uh... <laughs> I call you a guard. <clears throat> um, what do you want? It's your huh? turn. I need a nap. And you see him kind of wobble a bit towards his seat. Yes, you look a bit green. Oh, oh fine. I get up to the front of the the, the cart. I, I take the reins and go, come on, Kitty. Let's go now. Quite oh a little gosh. unsure. But... <laughs> Duncan <laughs> starts, uh, starts walking again. Due to the to the stops and uh, Pumpkin stamina. I think it's gonna take an hour or two extra, so twelve hours, eleven hours total to get there. <clears throat> Nothing really happens while you're <clears throat> while you're heading the cart. Once again, you see like a a deer in the forest, maybe a few ducks on the road. Nothing really interesting. And after two hours, that's yours. That that that's the end of your walk. <laughs> So that's been six hours total. I forgot to mention this, but when Phil went to sleep, he grabbed Oakley and kind of cuddled, cuddled up with him. <laughs> um, Oakley just like cuddled up again against him <laughs> and his little slime. So, All right. uh, Jack, show if you want to wake up the last person. Yes, I do. I would like to wake up. Uh, 
I guess the only one miss. Uh, who has no, not gone? Has not gone yet. Not I don't think Oakley yet. is physically capable. Of <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not capable of doing that. No, I think you'd be able to do that. Show briefly con considered how funny it would be <clears throat> if he tried, but he went over and bumps to Malachi. It's your turn, my good friend. Friend. <sighs> That's what six hours of uninterrupted sleep. That's Something good like enough that. for me. God, You're welcome. He goes up to the front of the cart and pats Punkin. <laughs> <clears throat> I plop down. So after another two hours, the long rest will be completely done, correct? Or will it need to be another watch? So the... no, it'll be it'll be as long as somebody has a total of six hours, they're good. Okay. Six hours, six hours plus two resting. All right. Well. <clears throat> oh God, my it just left my brain fully. Oh, oh, I remember. So it's about nine p.m. now. Um, after after about two hours, it's you don't really see anything on the road. Uh, it it's wait, I'm losing track of how long you've been traveling for. Six plus three hours, we've been traveling since three, and if it's nine, that would be six hours. Well, after <clears throat> after a few hours of travel, it's now 11 p.m., so you've been traveling for eight hours total. You'll get there pretty soon, and everyone can- Long rest complete? Long rest. Yes. Yeah! yeah. All right. Oh. That's the only reason I didn't want you to complete your, your long rest. I didn't know what you would do at the border. <laughs> right. That makes sense. <clears throat> it makes sense. My 3 HP has been recovered. <laughs> yeah, all of the half of my health is back, finally. I'm finally <laughs> back up to full health. <laughs> I believe you recovered your grit, uh, Jerry. Uh, my grit is recovered when I... When... Uh, I'm sorry, wh whenever I do a killing blow with a firearm to oh. a creature. I'm pretty sure it's restored on a long rest as well. It... It does. I'm sorry. That's in the last sentence of a long paragraph. <laughs> right. Gotcha. DMing is causing me to drink so much water. No, it will. It <laughs> will. Okay. <clears throat> We're just going to try and speed through the rest of the travel. After... Wait, so... Eight hours total. After about two hours, you see something on the road. I need... Five... One second. I love, I love <laughs> the use of physical dice. Love Justin, Yo. I need you to roll 1d6, please. Number six. Oh no, I've lost it. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. After, after a few hours of travel, it's been probably 10 hours on the road. You spot something far up on the road. It seems like a standing cloak. How far away is it? Um, it's, I'm not very good with uh with lengths. We're gonna say it's fifty. We're gonna say it's eighty feet away. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> it it seems um... to be like a few feet tall, just standing. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm going to move the cart closer until it's within about 60 feet. And then I'm going to use sacred, not sacred flame. That's not it. It's dancing lights. Okay. To, and then I'll hover it over the figure and once in range. <clears throat> the rest of you are awake now. It's just probably about uh, 1 a.m. Nope. 12 a.m. now. All right. So you Nixie hey guys, uh, stretches. Uh, oh, good. More company. Why? Why does Oakley smell like alcohol? Someone <laughs> <laughs> has been drinking all night. Not I, I went drinking? to sleep at one point. Um, fantastic. You, you a drunk? Uh, unfortunately, no. You cast what? dancing lights over the cloak, and it, it seems to be just the same thing, just a standing cloak. Mm -mm. About three foot tall. Hey, guys, um, 
in the road, there's a, uh, the cloak, it seems. I see it. Can you shoot it? Shoot it? Uh, wait, s- wait, stop. You're just going to shoot it. I mean, it What if that is like a deity? Oh, it's even better. I... Can I, can Oakley go and like creep up anything. close to it? Sure. It's going to take you a little bit for you to get over there, though. Do you want to do it stealthily? Yeah, I want to do it stealthily. Yeah, roll a stealth check, then. Nixie is going to stand up and try and grab the thing's attention. Who are you? Oh. Oh, you you don't hear anything back, Nixie. Uh, You you walk near it, Jackson, (laughs) and... It doesn't seem to pay you any mind, but you hear laughing. <laughs> oh no! Ugly instantly has like that little back arch thing, and Ugh. kind of just runs back real quick. The, guys, the car- guys, 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 guys. No. <laughs> now that the cloak has noticed you, it's it's trying to walk up closer to you. Trying? Trying to walk up closer to the cart? I mean. Stay there, or we will get violent. Nixie said, "Well, what'd you say?" She said, "Stay there, or we'll get violent." No, after she's trying. Huh? After that? Nothing. She just someone, said, "Stay someone there." Someone said something after that. It was... Oh, it might have been me. I. I might have asked. She's like said something, but didn't yeah, I mean think it. you were describing what you were doing. And I didn't hear it. Oh, okay. She's, she just stands in the front of the cart and holds up her hand. She's going to try and intimidate this thing. Stop uh, it. Roll intimidation. Got oh, it. Mm, that, it, that gone. It stops in its tracks. Who are you? N- me? It kind of points at itself. Yes, yes you. You. Who else is here? It, it looks behind it. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> now that you're getting a better look at it, it seems child-sized. Um, oh, I'm so glad we didn't shoot it. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, gosh, In contrast so to that oh, thought, Nixie looks over at Malachi. I'm about three seconds away from telling you to run it over. <laughs> Are you um, alright? Are you hurt? Oh, my. I'm gonna do a mage hand real quick, just in case. Okay. But up. I thought I was invisible. Imagine the consequences of shooting a child. <laughs> in the I don't think there's many things where I look terribly confused. <laughs> there's a lot of consequences. It's a child. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> We're criminals now. Did anyone? Did anyone hear? Oh me? my! What'd you say? It said, "I thought I was invisible." Or do well, you mean us not. any? Do you mean us any harm? No. Wh- wh- why are you trying to be invisible? The, the cloak. Can you just move out of our way, please, so we can, can go forward? Can we see his face at all? No, it's under a cloak. <laughs> oh, okay. This, I'm this going thing was to. Supposed to be an invisibility cloak. Oh, How much so did strange. you pay for that cloak? I stole it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Jack. Oh wait, Jack. hold up. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my mage hand to try and take the cloak off. All right. I don't think that takes any roll. You can just do that. Especially because I think Justin's mage hand is invisible. Yeah. All right. Well, the cloak begins getting pulled off of this four foot tall goblin. Uh, give me that back! He tries to pull at the cloak, but it fails. Whoa, that cloak is floating! <laughs> oh, wait! Oh, wait! Yeah, there's a mage hand! What, what's happening? Why is it flying? I'm no, sorry! You gotten a really good cloak. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I stole it. So... Is he a child or is it a goblin? It was just a goblin. <laughs> okay. okay. Jet, My Jet character Shul- has lost interest. 
Jack jumps <laughs> out of the cart and attempt and wants to grab the cloak out of the air. All right. Um, I feel like how how this... far did you bring it up into the air? I would say like just enough to where he can't reach it. The, the, the oh, goblin. So. Oh. Oh, then yeah, oh. you can. So, so Jack Show can probably reach it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I want to grab it. I just want to grab the the cloak itself. Okay. Assuming that the mage hand would not have a death grip on it. <laughs> when, when picking up the cloak, it, it just seems like a normal black cloak. I'm sorry. I it it was supposed to be a, an invisible cloak. I I didn't mean it. I'm sorry, fellow. But uh, two things are going to happen now. Okay, number one, you you leave far okay. far away, and number okay. two, don't look at me ever. Again, you are roll intimidation for that. <laughs> oh, he goes, Yes, Dang. sir, and runs off into the woods. Before you go, and you're leaving Nixie, now. Nixie, Nixie uh, yells towards him. Yes, did you steal the cloak from anyone who was important looking? I just stole it from some adventurers, they're, they're camped near here. Are they hostile? They didn't kill me, but they didn't see me. Hmm. She looks. She looks at Jack Show. Weird. We should not be found with that cloak on us. It's very comfortable. <laughs> it's very comfortable. <laughs> he runs off into the woods after this conversation. He's very scared. Um, I do want. Uh, I, I want to step into the cart. Can I? I. Uh, <clears throat> I want to. I. I. I want to try to use it use it how i want to try to because if it goes invisible i want to try to go invisible instead <laughs> of the swallowed for it <laughs> oh my <laughs> god <laughs> you you put on the cloak how does everyone react to this i'm putting on the cloak yeah jack shell if know. we're attacked by a band of adventurers i swear on my life i will not help you yeah i'd rather not fight some skilled adventurers myself oh everybody's so filled with fear well um, yes reasonably not fear just stupidity <laughs> um everyone who can cast magic roll an arcana check oh that's why he's funny she wouldn't know oh uh, <laughs> oh my gosh okay. maybe she would <laughs> Nixie, it does not seem to hold any magic whatsoever it seems just like a normal black cloak with a hood she pulls out her dagger. So, Jack Show. Are you? I have an me? experiment. No, no, I have an experiment for you. Okay. Magical items. Magical items, due to their enchantments, are typically much more durable than their mundane versions. Care to test that theory, or do you just want it because it's cool? <laughs> I think it looks fantastic. I would rather not damage it. At, the, at least not right now. She puts the knife away. Fantastic. On our way now, please. Um, I I don't know if Resuscitation can do this, but I'm going to try. I quietly cast Resuscitation to turn the cape red instead of black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's what I do. And I don't let him know that I've done this. I just want to make sure we don't get caught because of a black cape. <laughs> so, uh, you you guys can begin traveling now. It's about two hours towards Lopsad. <laughs> uh, what's the name of the town one more time? Lopsad. L O P. L O P. L -O -P. It's a little village, not the kingdom. Okay. E Stand. <laughs> and by the way, during all of this, Fosto's just been sleeping. <laughs> I forgot he was even in the cart. <laughs> they didn't ask him his name. Um, no, they didn't. We'll just pretend like it, you know. Let's just pretend they... he gave Maybe. them a fake name. Okay. Robert Stevenson. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, which which country are we in right now? You are in the kingdom of Sinas. You're right about here. Uh, here. On the border. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. Is this is this in the um the same country where we escaped from? No, Tesca. You were the the prison is right okay. about here on this river. 
right, right. Understood. Uh, well, above the river, actually. <laughs> so, <clears throat> whenever you're ready, we can go into the town. I don't know how to do this part of D&D. &D. <laughs> uh, what part are you talking about? Getting Just into the traveling? villages. <laughs> yeah, oh, after... Well, there, there shouldn't be, a, like, a village guard. Yeah. Maybe a watch. After... Well, this is a pretty large village. After about two hours, okay. you see the outside of a village. Um, Sai, do you think you would have been here before? Um, I'm not sure. It did. How close is it to the places I know? Because I think this is like the last town between last village between Sanasa and Tesca. I, I feel like you may have seen this while traveling. You may have passed through it. Then yeah. Yeah. Um, you would know that there are a few, uh, a few village guards outside of the- There's like a, a wall in- encompassing the village. I think I can actually get a picture of what it looks like. One second. Um, as we approach, can I, like, disable Punkin? Because I don't know how well received the cat- Yeah, you can do that. Big cat would be. Okay. Bungans! Pss, pss, pss. The cat disappears from under you. By the and way, we all fall onto the yeah. ground. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was that for? Wake up, everyone! We're nearing a place. My tailbone can't take much more of this. Well, I actually fell on the comfortable slime, so I. <laughs> Nixie is going to um, cast disguise self. Oh, okay. Her yes. skin. Her skin changes color to a uh, light brown, her hair turns black, the scales disappear, and her eyes turn brown. Yeah, uh, Malachi is going to change his eye color with Thaumaturgy. <laughs> if anyone asks my name... Hold up, let me find it. <laughs> it's an alias. If anyone asks, my name is Amanea. Could you please spell that? Yes. I don't even remember your other name, so <laughs> there will be no issue here. Wonderful. Jack, I feel like you have some memory issues. <laughs> I, I've i been told. I sent kind of what Lopsad looks like. It's the best a generator could give me. Um, You see a, a large castle on a hill nearby the <clears throat> nearby the village where presumably a noble lives. And how far away do you think you guys would uh, stop before getting to the gates? Um, Since you did dismiss Pumpkin. My question is, do we have any reason that we know of to be wary of going just in and interacting with the guards? No. Then I'm just kind of going to walk up to the gate. Yeah, we, yeah, might as well we, just we can't be out. this far. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Nixie would follow as well. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to ask to ask, did any of you look in your pouches after leaving the prison? No. I probably would have, at least in a general check of it. I mean, so I've I... been putting stuff in my bag of holding this whole time. <laughs> and that's not really the pouch I'm looking for. So right. you would have noticed that all of your money is gone. Gosh dang it! <laughs> I still have mine. <clears throat> no, all of your money is gone as well. I turned, once no. I realized this, I'm like, guys, no. I might need to spot some cash. Nixie I checks her pouch. I don't have any on me. I can't help you with that. Mine's gone as well. Jack Show quickly checks it, it, his bag. You're all missing your money what? that you entered the prison with. Uh, what, is, what is this here? This, money. this hypocr hypocrisy. We went to prison for stealing and they stole my money. Should they not be in prison? Oh my gosh. It might have been that goblin. <laughs> he was a goblin. <laughs> With a cloak. Well, One. You're, you're now getting close to the gates. A hello, welcome. One of the guards waves to you. The other one elbows him. You know Hi. who you to be guarding. Hi. Hello, friend. You guys want to enter? We do. That'd be great. 
That would be wonderful, please. Oh. I would love entrance. Oh, mm. um, we would love entrance. Yes. Uh, we we need to check you for like. We need to make sure you're not bandits. Um, do you have any stolen items? None at all. Just okay. my I'm, personal weapons. Okay. I'm going to quickly cast Mage Hand once more, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys can go in then. Thank you, Kai <laughs> The other guard is Thank just facepalming. They're clearly <laughs> adventurers. <laughs> <laughs> They're clearly adventurers. Thank you. <laughs> you're you're allowed to go inside. All right, I, I oh, enter the town. Cool. Oh, I struck. That in. was surprisingly easy. <laughs> I forgot yeah. Fosto existed again. He was supposed to be dead. Um... <laughs> 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 oh god. Uh, the name of the tavern is uh, I don't have the name of the tavern. The, the Black Bear. I, I can't get into his voice. <laughs> the name of the tavern okay. is the Black Bear, everyone. The Black Bear? The Black like Bear. It's, it's supposed to be around the center of town. From what I remember. <clears throat> Let's get a move on, then. I'm ready for a bed. Yes. Oh, bed would be I, nice. have a, I have a question. We're ready for a bed, but with what money? I don't need money. I'm a performer. Don't don't, we don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Wait, money? He checks his pouch. Oh. <laughs> don't worry, everyone. No. I y'all I've looted just, everything like, I can find. Y'all could just like sell me, I guess, if you want a money. <laughs> oh my god! We're not, not doing no. that. What the heck? We're no. We... That sounds fantastic. That's <laughs> we are not selling the cat. <laughs> Don't worry, my my friend. She'll she'll let us stay for free. Um, oh, you certain? Um, Nixie raises Maybe. an eyebrow. Is he telling the truth? Insight. He he thinks he's telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the, the black bear is in, in the middle of the trade district. It's not the largest. I'll, I'll, I'll screenshot what it is. That one. Can I can I break off from the party for a little bit uh, to so, see if I can go sell all the stuff in my bag of holding? It is probably like 3 a.m. right now. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, and Wonderful. the tavern is open? Is it lively? Is it dead? You guys can make it towards the tavern. Oh, yeah, I mean, Jack Show wants a bed. Well, it when you get night. outside of the tavern, you see a close sign. Open oh, at 5 a.m. Oh, oh no. fantastic. Oh, 5 a.m. What tavern opens at 5 in the a.m.? Can you. Nixie believe? immediately starts looking around for a stable or barn. It says breakfast at 5 a.m. You, you see one a little ways away. It seems like a uh, a horse shop. She's gonna stride right on over and get comfy in the hay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, just gonna follow her and just kind of like snuggle up next to her. I've slept in worse places. You're just gonna take a nap for two hours. I'm. Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much. She's just yeah. gonna lay down and chill out. Alrighty. Mm. I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna go, go for it. Sorry, I'm just gonna sit against the tavern wall. Fosto will sit with you. Hey, Malachi's buddy. gonna go find a house. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. I I want to look and make sure that that there are no other people on the streets or side, sidewalks or anywhere. I want to see if I can actually. Are are there any people anywhere near us at all? Whether it be guards, mm. people, etc. Hmm. Any living thing too, animals as well. Besides the cows, if there were cows or anything in that barn. There's there's a few people walking down the street, seemingly drunk. Okay. 
it's it's a man and a woman. I there's a few rats scurrying around, and um, no other like animal shops nearby. Hmm. Boring. <laughs> I want to sit down next to the tavern door, uh, with my back up against the the wall and just wait. And Malachi, what were you doing? Okay, so you said there was a barn, right? Yeah. Is there a farmhouse next to that barn? It's where it's the a farmer would live. Horse store. <laughs> it's just oh, where you okay. Like, imagine, yes. Good. Um, I am going direction. to use thaumaturgy to make the ground quake. Um, the horses start freaking out, jumping around in their stables. Where exactly are you casting this? Um, underneath the house. And for what reason? I want the I want the uh, owner of the house to come out and check on the horses. Okay, um, it, it's just a stable. Oh, so there's no one. Ne there's no like connected bit. No. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to go and find a house you and do basically a do the same thing. You do see a couple people opening their windows though, nearby. Good. Um, I will go center. towards one of those buildings. Okay. Um, they're they're just ready for this guy. They're examining the sound. They're trying to figure out what just happened. What do you want to do? Okay, so <laughs> they you said that they opened their window. Are they looking out their window? Yeah, they're looking uh, where the earthquake came from. I am going to use Thaumaturgy to slam the window shut. Oh on my their face. gosh. Okay. What in the world? I Why don't understand what's doing? happening. <laughs> Chaos at 3 a.m. Let's go. <laughs> you, you do that? Uh, how well are they looking? Like, physically? Their heads were out of the, out of the window. <laughs> you hear... Yeah. Uh, what just happened? <laughs> From inside? What in the world? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we need money, so I'm getting us money. What? How? I should have told you you would be able to sleep there for free. Let him cook. <laughs> Let him cook. Okay, so the person whose head I slammed in the window, how, how are they doing? They're knocked out, they in pain. You heard him scream. <laughs> Are Am I of all this? Yeah, can we see this? You can probably hear this, but Nixie and the cat are asleep, and you two uh, can. She's not. She's this. not asleep. She's uh, just like chilling in the, in the um, in the hay, playing with her magic. Oh, all, Oakley, you all Oakley's asleep. asleep. What's happening? I don't know what's happening. I'm an earthquake. <laughs> 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 it's not too far away, so you, you can you can hear it all. So okay, so so the guy, he he's just in pain. He's not knocked out. Yeah, you just slammed a window on his face. <laughs> All right, I want to um, open the window again and slam it back on his face, if he is anywhere near it. <laughs> he's, he's he's back. Back. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm going to open the window and try and jump in. Why? Oh my okay, god. Okay, yeah, you can do that. Give me an athletics, actually. Okay. Uh, can acrobatics. I use acrobatics? Acrobatics. Okay, cool. <laughs> you you jump in, but as you jump in, you, your foot catches on it and uh, on the windowsill. But you still manage to get in. What All right, are you how's doing? the guy looking? Oh. <laughs> He's <just laughs> holding his so hands on his face. <laughs> what, what, what is happening? I'm going to um, use dancing lights to uh, create like a yellow light behind me. Um, okay. It is I, the god of fortune, and I request funds for my church. Don't make me call the guards. The guards. 
<laughs> he stumbles <laughs> back and looks for some kind of weapon. <sighs> um, I do I have my mage hand from earlier? You can still cast it, yeah, sure. Okay. I'm going to um look for anything valuable immediately in the room. <laughs> okay, you see give me a, a invest give me a perception. <laughs> Nice. You see a... I... Why is this happening to me? <laughs> you see a couple silver on a table near the front door. You see a couple rings, a couple silver rings, and some sort of uh, some sort of painting that looks kind of interesting. It's... All right, I want to give my mage hand my bag of holding and tell it to scoop everything up. All right. Wow. While this is happening, is. the man grabs a broom and is pointing it at you. G get out! L leave! It truly is a shame, you unbelievers. Uh, I'm going to use Thaumaturgy again, and I I'll say, you have incurred my wrath, as I make the ground shake again. Use deception with advantage. No, hey, he gets down on the ground. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and he starts bowing. Take whatever you want. I'm so sorry. They all come around eventually. Thank you. I will remember you. And I take anything valuable I can and leave. I think we know why this guy was in jail. <laughs> <sighs> all you really found were the, the two silver rings, the, the painting, and the, the like five silver and 30 copper. Mm -hmm. Nixie okay, would cool. have been keeping a very close eye on that whole interaction. But she doesn't say anything. Bill is pretending not to exist. <laughs> after, after two hours, the tavern opens up. And you... Oh, you, you see a old, an older woman, probably around 40 years old, open the front door to the tavern and look, out, look outside. Uh, hello? Why are Nixie you on my stands up. Uh, as soon as she notices something happen happening, Nixie's going to stand up and use prestidigitation to um, clean the smell of barn off of her and start walking over. I have a question. Oh, she she opened the door. Yeah. If I'm pretty sure Jack Show is leaning against that door. Are you leaning Not on the, the door, door, on the wall next to it. But okay. uh, uh, who is this person talking to? Is he talking to talking me to or to all what? three of you? Where are you all on my doorstep? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I dust myself off. Yeah, I am Jack Show. I am looking for a place to stay. I was hoping that uh, you could help. I elbow uh, Fasho. Can you say his name? Fasto? Yeah, he said Jack Show. No, Fosto. There, there it is. I elbow Fosto. Oh. Uh, well, <clears throat> she says... Oh. How, how, what do beds normally cost a night? And I'll, I'll get to that side. That's it depends cool. on where. This is a pretty good tavern. I, I was thinking like two, two to three silver a night, but that might be too much. Yeah, that's uh, might be on the pricier side, but this is it, if it, if it's like if it's like a really reputable tavern, that that yeah. would make sense. All right, she says. Well, be beds are three silver a night, and then she spots Fosto. You. <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> um, what, what do you mean? Fosto says to her. You know you owe me money. Uh oh. Oh, what a shame. How dare you, Fosto? Your mother has been worried sick ever since you left. <laughs> Where have you been? Um, oh you know... No, I don't know. Uh, th they are they are fighting right now. Uh, Mal Malachi walks up to the group from the street. Hey guys, you said we needed money, right? So I got some money for us. Fantastic! I heard the commotion. I what commotion? Not that wasn't me. I'm not oh. going to ask how. Macy is going to glare at Jack Show. And just kind of mouth play along. Oh, what a tragedy. It was awful. 
Oakley just kind of looks up at him and goes, Yeah, let's go. You guys' money. I'm so happy. <laughs> you know, how much money did I rob off of that poor man? You robbed, uh, I said five silver and about 30 copper, as well as two silver okay, cool. and a painting. Yeah. Last I, got I those. heard, you were in jail. And where is my money? She says to Fosto. Um. I was supposed to be getting it, but they, they stole my money in the prison. You liar. Um, How much money do you need, Jack Shaw asks, to pay off this man's debt? 200 mm -hmm. gold. What? Oh. Nixie, oh. Nixie flinches. My I... jaw drops. I am not letting any friends of him stay here. No, no, no. I am a performer. I can bring you customers. Give me a persuasion. Ah, uh, okay. Persuasion. <coughs> hmm. That, that does sound Trust good. Me, I've done it all my life. Nixie also, Nixie also steps up and, like, gives a gives a little bow please we are in a little spot of um trouble at the moment we just need a place to get back on our feet and i'm invoking my mask of deceit ability okay i am especially adept at fooling creatures that don't know me i can find a place to rest hide or recuperate among commoners unless i have shown myself to be a danger they will shield me from the law or anyone else searching for me, but they won't risk their life for me. That is a roleplay hack, dude. <laughs> That's actually crazy. Uh, okay, how she, how about... She kind of like gest she gestures over to uh, Fausto. We met by happenstance. This is the only place we know of. Please. Uh, I look at... Uh, yes. Fantastic. Thank Do you have you. the money? We have able bodies. If you have any work for us, we would gladly be able to. Um, you have Jack I, Show. I do, That's plenty enough. I, I do need you. some stuff to be done. Might be kind of risky, though. And she walks over to Fosto and slaps him on the back of the head. You go find your mother. She has been worried <laughs> sick, you little... And... <laughs> she just slaps him <laughs> over the back of the head again. <laughs> they seem to be related somehow. <laughs> <laughs> and he walks off to find his mom. I've got I've got a huge rat problem in the basement. You think you guys could try and fix that? I don't like the way he said huge. Of course. How big are we talking? I don't know. Like rat sized. We'll go take a look. I will stay up here and uh, do what I do best. I pull out my violin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I did. Give me a performance roll. I wasn't roll. ready. Give me a performance <laughs> roll. Performance roll? Oh, wait. Isn't there, is there a performance roll? There yes, is. There is. Yeah. Give me a performance roll. Come oh. on, dude. That's so Here's well, the thing. I, Here's the thing. Are you proficient in violin? Yeah. Um, I'm proficient in music, yes. If you are proficient in something and you're, like, actually a well-trained individual, the performance Man. check just, it, like you... animal handling, only works on extreme uh, circumstances. You play, you play pretty good. You play a pretty good violin song. Um, well, mm -hmm. while he's playing, I start accompanying him by, like, telling an epic story about the Feywild. You give me a performance too. Yeah. Um, while performing your violin song, unfortunately, there are a few rowdy kids being a little too loud, so your your song isn't heard that well amongst the people walking around, getting ready to do their jobs in the morning. But oh. you are uh, telling your story very loudly, and a group of like eight people have come to listen. Can um, Oakley go over to the kids and just kind of like play with them? Sure. Okay, Oakley just kind of like waddles up to them and just kind of like 
Hey guys, how we going? I, <laughs> I make it so like little plasmoids come off of me. So like little smaller goops of myself come off and like walking around, like reaching up for tips. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, it's a cat. They they point at you, and one walks up to you and pets you way too aggressively. Okay. Hey, be well, gentle with the cat. Be, be gentle. Be gentle. Gentle. Okay. They pet you sadly and slowly and gently now. Like they just kind of like jumps up on the chest and kind of like, you know puts the child down on the back a little bit, but playfully away. And just kind of like needs them. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> just so some playful kind of way. We are per performing outside. I I want to pause and uh, take take a peek inside of the tavern. Is there a place to perform in there? Is there a stage? Is there a theater? Is there nothing? There is a small stage. Oh, then we should for sure go in there. I agree. And I want I want to tell what's your face to follow to what's his face to follow me. <laughs> uh Sai, so while you were telling your story, a few people handed you uh a couple copper each. You have made ten copper. Cool. I split it with Jack Show. Oh fan fantastic. Thank you. Thank of course, you. my friend. Well, now that it's no it was a joint free. effort. Nixie gets the happiest look she's you've ever seen her get on her face. She says, What wonderful music and storytelling. I think I'd like to hear more over a morning meal. And uh, she walks in kind of um, just wanting to put the idea of, yeah, that sounds good in other people's minds. Mm. And what did you say, Justin? Now that it's not like th three in the morning anymore, can I go and find a place to sell all my stuff that I that I acquired very legally? Sure. There's there's a jewelry store a few uh, a few how a few buildings away from this tavern, and there is a weapon store uh, <clears throat> right beside the tavern. Yeah, I'll go to the weapon store first. All right. Um. While while they were telling their story and playing the violin. Uh, the, the older woman told you, Nixie, I haven't seen the rats, but I, I've been hearing them. They, they got in one day when when I left the, the outside door open. I, there's a trap store nearby, if that'll help. I'd, I'd like to go take a look myself first. Thank you, though. All right, the stairs are right over there. He points Thanks, to please. the back. Nixie is going to start um, walking towards that. Okay, before that happens, <laughs> um, this this session has taken way longer than I thought it would. This will have to be split up into two sessions. <laughs> um, <laughs> Justin, your character walks into the the weapon store. Mm. Uh, you see an older man <clears throat> at the. Uh, I forgot what's called like the cash register area <laughs> uh he says to you we we will you buy weapons yeah. i i take a i take out the warhammer and the three spears from my bag of holding oh. how much for these oh There's no way it costs one gold piece. The um, warhammer? The spear. <laughs> oh. There, that does not make sense. Um, let me, let me, let me, he holds out his hand. I give it to him. Uh, he kind of inspects it. Uh, five. Each. Five. <laughs> what? <laughs> Five. Silver? Yeah. <laughs> each. Mm. For each spear? Mm. I'm down. Go for it. I love this NPC. <laughs> and um, what about the Warhammer? Do you hand it to him as well? Yeah. 15 gold, by the way. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, Warhammer is worth 15 gold. Mm. 
Five. Five gold. Five gold? Hmm. Hmm. I would prefer if I could get a bit more. Hmm. Seven. It is quite the nice Warhammer after all. Seven. Seven? Seven. Would you be willing to do eight? Hmm. Fine. <laughs> he hands over all wow. the money. <laughs> wow. So He's doing business with you. 15 silver and, and eight gold? Yep. Mm. He waves his hand as you exit. We should be picking up more weapons. Hmm? Yeah. I said we should be picking up more weapons. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> so guys, um, okay, how much money have we all pulled together? I have five copper. I have zero. You have five, because I gave you some. Oh, that's um, right. I'm sorry. I have five copper. I have 30 copper, 20 silver, and 8 gold. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at you. You know you can buy us all meals, and beds, and clothing, and food, and drinks, <laughs> and actually, you should, you, you owe me, and, the, and everybody I'm here. I'm getting Alakine flashbacks so hard. <laughs> getting what? <sighs> Alakine flashbacks. You know, I was really hoping you would give those spears to the prisoners so that they would cause more havoc and... <laughs> My money now. <laughs> money so, now. You were wanting... One man's riot is another man's stay in an inn. Were you wanting to get food first or go ahead and go to the basement? I would Nixie's say already... food. Nixie's already heading towards the basement. Okay, we'll wait for Nixie then. When you walk into the basement, you hear... Well, actually, how far into the basement do you walk? She's just going to stop at the um, at the entrance and light up her hand. Okay. I believe light has a radius of... It's a 20-foot radius, so it can go 20 feet into the room. I'll, I'll join her down there, because I have dark vision as well, so I can just see. You can see... <clears throat> you can see a couple very large rats eating from some spilled bags. Where's my mount? Doop. You can see a like maybe the size of like a like a a big dog eating from some bags and some spilled barrels. Hmm. I think we should go get the others. Most likely. She's going to quietly creep back up the stairs. Mm-hmm. Give me a stealth. Okay. I don't know how creepy these stairs are. Natural 20. Oh. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, she disappears from your field of view for a second. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, when you get back up, Oakley is now done playing and is inside with everyone. So when she said big rat problem, I thought she meant a lot of rats, not a few big rats. There's some very large rats down there and we're going to need some help exterminating. Jack Shirt stops playing his violin. Are you serious? More art. Uh, can I eat rats. some of them? <laughs> rats are filth. Okay. He puts up his violin. He kind of cracks his neck. He's like kind of pre preparing himself to kill some rats. Um. So you, you are all inside of the tavern right now. Do you think mm -hmm. you would be... There's like... 10 tables around inside of the tavern as well as one big bar area <clears throat> there's uh some stairs in in a back like cleaning closet area that lead down into the basement and then on the right side of the room there are some stairs leading up to presumably where the inn area is where the beds are would you be talking at the bar probably 
Uh, I'm me and wait, uh, we are on stage. Yeah, we would be on oh. stage. Well, at least I would be. I would definitely be there too. Well, if there are any, if there are any patrons, Nixie wouldn't just randomly say this. She would make sure everything's on the down low. Yeah, actually, can we get a description of how busy it is? What's it like? It's not too busy. It's it's serving breakfast right now. There's probably around twelve people inside sitting at some tables. A couple of people at the bar. Um, the the in, the tavern keeper yells at you all. You you guys want some breakfast? I would love some. Uh, yes. We got pancakes. We got waffles. We got bacon. If we are going to do something that's going to cause a lot of noise, we should do it when there are fewer patrons. Or, if it's... Actually, I don't think we ever got your name, she says to the patroness. Um... (laughs) Nice. DM panic, go. I gotta find it. Uh... Kaylin. Okay. Kaylin Crispin. You know that's the last name of uh, Fosto. Fosto's uh-huh. last name. I see. Okay. Um. Well, Kaylin, is this the um the calmest point of the day for your establishment? Yeah, it gets real hectic around lunch. So, I propose that we go ahead and take care of this problem now, when there are fewer people to disturb. All right, that's fine. People don't care about noise in here. They're used to the the rowdy bunch. In that case, I'm going to take some pancakes, please. And she sits down at a table. <laughs> <laughs> She's making... Is everyone ordering? I yeah. would also enjoy me a hearty back. I take out a flask and I tell her, however much five copper can get this, I want you to fill it up. I actually enter two of them. It's breakfast. And it's like orange juice, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, guys, uh, what I'll are... also take some pancakes, though. <laughs> what are pancakes? <laughs> oh, you poor soul. They're floppy, they're kind of like bread. Have you ever had a cookie? No. Oh, God. I've never had a cookie. Oh, she, Imagine she... the best thing you've ever tasted in your entire life, then multiply it by ten. That's a pancake. She walks mm. up to you, Malachi, <laughs> and gives you a hug. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what? What am I? What? Pancakes free of charge for you. It's... Um, I've also never had a pancake. You, you know you have. <laughs> Three, three copper for, for the, all of you. Just want pancakes. O- Oakley kind of uh, just looks up at her with like almost crossed eyes and tongue sticking out. Like, give me hey, a chris- give me a charisma roll. <laughs> just, I, I am a performer. I, uh, I believe <clears throat> my attraction of customers should be quite enough. Yes. No. You want me to make a charisma? Yeah, roll roll one d twenty and add your charisma modifier. I believe that's the best way to do this. Uh, oh, no, that's a charisma that's save. That's a save. Uh, so just on. slash r, one d twenty. One d twenty. Um, I I would like to to, to know. Oh oh what? Oh oh. You can just slash. click your charisma. You can just click where your charisma is you on your. You just character. click your what? Yeah, yeah, you don't know. There you go. Yeah. Oh Ouch. God! What are you? What is that? What, what's wrong with your face? <laughs> Nixie, Nixie kind of looks hurt. He's cute. There's nothing wrong with him. He's perfect. He's perfect. His eyes are cross-eyed right now. Look at him. <laughs> Didn't you say your eyes went cross-eyed? Yeah. Yeah. As as yeah. I think there's something wrong with him. Look at his eyes. Oakley just kind of looks down a little, like, kind of slowly and just kind of waddles away. Oh, I'm sorry. Oakley, Oakley, please. And Nixie walks over and picks him up. <laughs> he just kind of has, like, a rag doll kind of, like, <laughs> as you pick him up. You are beautiful and perfect, Oakley. Oh, Don't let 
Don't let the haters get to you. <laughs> um, she, um, she, okay. Yeah. Unless this ta tavern is an exception, entertainers background usually involve free lodging and food. Whoa. At, at inns and yeah. taverns. Backgrounds yeah. are pretty powerful. Free food too? Yeah, yeah mine uh -huh. too. Free lo lodging, food of a modest or comfortable standard. Same. Uh, yep. Oh, 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 hey, hey two, look at that. Free food we have for two entertainers and <laughs> a, a, um, a mask of deceit. I think we're good, guys. Oh, <laughs> Just maybe. Uh, okay, I think... Um... Backgrounds also aren't an auto-win button. You still have to yeah. roleplay them well, but you do... Like, if there's no reason sure. for you not to... Um, just get it, then you just get it. Listen. So I guess it is technically an auto win. But... <laughs> Listen, if if you two bring me in some customers, I'll give you free food. But so far, you haven't brought me anything. Are you serious? These twelve, I guarantee you, have, have been here for my performance for Paganini. I, in this I heard <laughs> you. I heard you playing that violin. I I well, I couldn't hear you. It was so quiet. Ah. I will be back. I oh, also want to the stage. I also want to do it. Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> we need customers. I can get you some customers if you want me to. No, no, not you. It's it's okay. I, I'm going to uh, give you some oh. pancakes. She and goes, then, oh. uh, I. Phil stands I on stage and to starts the best of my ability. Yeah, Phil also stands on stage and says. In the Feywild's realm of magic and delight, where fairies dance through starlit night, enchanted forests, secrets unfurl, a realm where dreams and wonders swirl. Can I please roll performance? Both of you roll performance. Okay. Nice. Um, as you're doing this, the, the woman brings uh, Nixie and uh, Malachi some pancakes. It's... Uh, three pancakes stop, uh, stacked on top of each other with some melted butter and uh, syrup oh on top. God. That sounds it's incredible. Bad. This smells amazing. <laughs> I might have to go have <laughs> breakfast for dinner. <laughs> for real, you eat dude. for free, kid. She looks at you, Malachi. Malachi pokes the pancake. The one with the most money eats for free. <laughs> <laughs> and while you're telling the story, uh, you see most of the bar is paying attention, but there's around four people who aren't. Not too many people are. Most of the bar is interested, but not everyone is. Uh, did she bring food to me and... Uh, you two are on stage right now. <laughs> yeah, I thought she brought food up there or not. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. She okay. Brought it, if you guys were at the bar, you could get food. But you're Nixie, oh, okay. um, trying to get it for free right now. <laughs> yeah. Nixie kind of walks up to the to the place where they're performing. Phil, you yeah. have to stand out amongst the other performers. And uh, I think I know a way to help. Please do. And what, do I... what are, like, do you have any baubles or anything that you're wearing? Baubles? Yeah, like little trinkets or... Um... He has a locket. He has a flute and then a vial on his back. The, go flute, the flute will will work. Mm -hmm. This won't damage it at all, and it'll last an hour. This should help get some attention. And she touches the flute, and it starts to shine. Ooh. Hmm. You need a quirk. Fill the radiant. I like the sound of that, and I immediately begin performing while also dancing and trying to accompany whatever Jack Show is doing. I would like you yes. to both re-roll performance with advantage. Oh, with advantage. That's persuasion. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm dyslexic. dyslexic. My goodness. Nice. Okay, you see, yeah. nice. The the entire bar is now engrossed in your in your music. A few people are like in awe, their mouths agape now. Like Fantastic. the biggest smile goes across Phil's face. As the Nixie song... just gives a thumb up, thumbs up. <laughs> As the song begins to end, uh, the entire bar erupts with applause. 
Phil dramatically mm. bows and you've never seen him smile as big and like he's just living in this moment. A few people walk I, up I and... also bow dramatically as well. Or a gracefully bow. Not, no, not dramatically or clumsy like her. <laughs> and you can hear him say, this, this is what I live for. A few people walk up and hand you some, uh, some copper. You both made ten copper each. Yay! W. Ten? Let's go, dude. Alright, I, I see the value Nixie's. now. I'll give you yeah, some for free. Underneath the table, Nixie kind of flicks her fingers and tiny little fireworks go off close to them. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> the, the ah woman. yes now the woman unfortunately i am hungry <laughs> phil, phil is too living in this moment that he can continues to play he doesn't care about food now he wants to continue performing the woman brings out food to both of you whether you like it or not mm. you, you you kids did good Thank yeah. you. Many thanks. Many thanks. I wolf down my pancakes because I would also enjoy, love to per perform again after once, I finish. Once Phil realizes everyone's kind of done eating, he looks over and goes, are we dealing with a rat problem now? You guys down for that? I'd like last a morning warm up. Last I heard, we have to deal with these pesky rodents for some reason well i still don't have any money and i would like some so oh, when Nixie, i can give you some uh, how big do you need they're much larger than you oakley it it might be safer to be on my shoulders for this one okay they're how, roughly how? the size of like a <clears throat> I'd say like maybe like a year old. Uh, what's what's it called? German Shepherd. Not not okay. massive, but like nearly to your knee. Dog. So yeah. yeah so so dog that a big rat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nearly. That's to a your big knee. rat. Yeah. Phil takes wow. a swig of ale and starts walking towards the stairs. Oh yeah, <laughs> she did fill up your flask with some pretty all right alcohol. Oh. Wonderful. It's not like top top shelf, but it's below that shelf. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay. Jack Show does not complain. Nixie, can you flood the basement? Flood the bait? I don't have any what? Uh you see, I am unfortunately well versed in thunder magic, so I just you know, if we could flood the basement. Shock the water, kill the rats. What are you talking about on the set? I, I would say we're on the way to the... I would rather you didn't flood my basement. <laughs> okay. I have food down there. There's a little... There's a small glimmer of excitement behind Nixie's eyes. We'll keep that in mind. Um, the, the basement mm -hmm. is very close. It's uh, roughly behind the bar, and the stairs are inside of a cleaning closet. If you would like to all mm. enter. Yes, I know. Yes. Phil has show carrying some liquid courage, so he's walking down the stairs <laughs> without a courage. Without a without care much the world? Care. Yeah, no, without the care world. He's just, he's going for it. He's like, yeah, rats, I got this. Well, then I assume you guys aren't being very stealthy. Phil's not. Uh, <laughs> the the rats. Uh, I don't. Hmm. The rats can hear. Uh, well, you can hear some creaking on the stairs. No, that uh, over there is the uh, like back exit. You're over over here. I see. I see. Yeah. Oh, I okay. drew. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the rats can all hear some creaking on the <laughs> stairs. They're going to investigate. Oh, we're from these stairs. I thought we were coming from here, from this door now. Okay. Malachi would like to cast Thaumaturgy to create a noise uh, right here. If it will let me click the thing. 
It won't. <laughs> Near the door, the open door. He would like to create a sound in that room. All right. Now, could you all roll initiative? Okay. okay. That I can. All right. Let's go. This one walks over whenever it hears that noise. Okay. Oh, I didn't add the stupid turn order. It's fine. I was waiting for it. I didn't click my token. <laughs> so, Jackson, roll a... Do, 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 do. I rolled a 19. 19. W. Yumi goes first. <laughs> Yumi goes first. <laughs> that, that's a really good change from last session. For like, real. With you rolling like a 3 every time. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, And then Sai rolled a 10. You rolled a 10 as well. Uh, Add turn... Uh, Sai and Jerry, you're gonna have to figure out which one of you wants to go first. Uh, I don't care. Sai goes in front of me. I'll go before her. Alrighty. Oh, <laughs> I've already added you. So, okay. I added everyone, right? Yes, I did. Yeah, okay. you're good. <laughs> Bro. Okay, well... Oakley, you can go ahead and go whenever you want. Okay. Um, I am going... Should we change the music? Oh, yes. Thank you for reminding <laughs> me. I'm listening to the violin mu music up until now. And the rats <laughs> will be sharing their initiative. Cool. Okay, so okay. we see oh, three... Oh. Tactics. So, I want to... Can I... I'm sorry, never mind. Yeah, for, no surprise. Wrong for this. I just okay. wanted to see how many rats we, we see. You can, can only I see three? Okay. I'm gonna get down uh, from his shoulders for now. I'm gonna hop down and get about right here. And I'm going to cast Intangles. Ooh. Nice. Like, I'm gonna cast it, like, I'm gonna try to cast it, like, kind of like close to these two ones, but hopefully try to get the ninth, like, the third one. There. Um, yeah, it's 15 feet. Okay, let me yeah. roll the saves. One, two. And what was your spell save? You see, it's 13. Um, you see the vines. Uh, <laughs> the best way to describe it would be entangle these two rats. Uh, they're sort of like pushed together, and they are fully. Uh, Fully restrained. This one over here, however, managed to dodge the, the okay. vines. Okay, okay. Oakley is going to scurry back up on her shoulders and say, <laughs> um, There you go, guy. Now go get him. As he, <laughs> as as he jumped off, are... Nixie looked concerned. But as he came back, she looked relieved. Right. Both of these are entangled, correct? Yes, these two over here. And okay. Nixie, it's your turn now. Oh, dang. Okay. Um, so, with Oakley on her shoulder, um, Nixie is going to stride forward to about right here-ish. And I believe a cone of 30 feet will be able to get all of these guys. Um, yeah, sure. Wait. 30 foot cone? Yeah. Cool. What are you casting? Yep. Ooh. Um, so she lifts up her hands, her eyes flash white, and a blast of freezing ice erupts out as she casts Rhymes Binding Ice. They have to make a dexterity save or a constitution saving throw. I'm trying to beat a 15. I'll go ahead and roll, and roll 3d8 three times. For um, it doesn't just damage all of oh. them. Oh! Yeah, my bad. <laughs> Roll 3d8. Okay. My bad. Like 20 points of cold damage. Bro. Okay. Please tell me that kills them all. Want to go ahead and explain how you do this? <laughs> what? Oh, no. no way! No the way! The rats are dead. She walks forward, um, kind of looks up and smiles and scratches Oakley behind the ears, turns and Trying to avoid as many goods as she can, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a freezing shockwave explodes from her hand and blasts forward, catching all of them. 
Oh, Cleese Anything? just kind of like sitting there with like drool coming down his like tongue and just sitting <laughs> right off. <laughs> Dang, wow. that was almost max damage. <laughs> like 12 Sheesh. HP each, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of the greens over here do get frozen, but not much is. That's my bad. I think a little thawing can't fix. Yeah, there's like one or two potatoes that have been frozen. These rats are fully, like, ice is coming out of their mouths. Oh, no. Hmm. <laughs> we should, um, remove the corpses. Jack Show, okay, with the straightest posture ever, claps. And uh, says, yes, I will let all of you happily deal with that while I go back to performing. <laughs> hmm. uh... <laughs> Why did you have to do that to me? <laughs> okay, so hold on. Hey, look, dude, sometimes the dice just roll in the player's favor. <laughs> last time, it was not in my favor. This time, it was. Bro, it wasn't in my favor last time either. I rolled I rolled an 8 for a 3d10 attack on Fausto. <laughs> <laughs> Fausto was meant to survive. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're, you're going to clear out the corpses. Correct? Can I put them uh, in a bag of holding? She's not sure. Yeah. Yeah, I would prefer not to take these through the people who are trying to eat breakfast. So if we can hide those, that would be wonderful. I'm going to bag them. All right. Yeah, you put them in the bag. No, last time we did this, it did not end well for Luke. <laughs> Ugly uh, kind of just like looks at Dixie a little bit and puts his little paw in and says, Paw five! And just kind of like pulls it out for her. She <laughs> gladly paw fives him back. You, you That's kind so of cute. struggle while putting the very large rats in the bag of holding. Nixie, the Nixie would help him. Oh, Nixie then, would definitely help Just him. his strategy is just snatch and grab. You, you stretch the, <laughs> the bag of holding like it's a trash bag and you're trying to fit a big box inside. <laughs> now you're free to go back upstairs and the lady did tell you that she needed two things done. Okay. So My bag now has three okay. frozen rats in it. As, <laughs> as, she, sees, frozen. <laughs> as she sees uh, Jack show come up. Hey, you guys managed to do it? I didn't hear much yes, of a commotion. I, I don't One think of our we is the right word. Die. We oh, took no. incredible precaution. Uh, we did an amazing job. You should see the damage. To the rats. Not yes, your good. Yes, yes, your yes. Your goods to are the rat. largely fine. You sure? You Just heat up the damage. basement for a while. A little frostbit, little... but they'll be alright. Did you see if the rats caused any damage? Ah, I'll go do that now. <laughs> well, you you already know what it looks like. You see that okay. you see that a couple barrels had their food uh, pushed out. A couple uh, bags of grain were like ripped open, and there were a couple crates destroyed. Not too much oh, wow. major damage, but damage nonetheless. I hope they didn't cause you too much trouble. So much trouble. We struggled so much. <laughs> All right. Nixie, Nixie yeah. elbows him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, yeah, calls a do a do a deception actually. <laughs> Why is this man so bad at deception? I can't lie. <laughs> I don't think he succeeded a single one. <laughs> All right, you say so. Well, mm. the the other thing I want you to do. My my son, he he lost his dog in the forest. Uh, is that dog a four foot goblin by chance? What? <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh my gosh! It's a dog. It's it's black. It's it's like a poodle or something. <laughs> oh my mm. god. I told him not to go near the forest and there there he went, going near the forest and it ran off and I, I can't go in there. It's pretty scary. There's bears. And goblins. 
<laughs> probably goblins. Would you would you guys be okay with doing that? If you do oh, that, I'll let you guys stay here. For free? Not for free. I'll let you stay here. Uh, Are you sure? Nixie asks. Give me your persuasion with advantage. Wait, okay. so if we if we want to stay, we pay. If we get the dog, we still gotta pay. You were Nixie's friends with Fosto, and Fosto us. owes, you two, owes her 200 gold. It's gonna be a 19 for persuasion. How about a discount? <laughs> oh my gosh. Discounts are amazing. <laughs> One silver. Each. Oh my god. Dang. Uh, it was five silver. How, how I can about pay that? It was three silver each, wasn't it? Was it three silver? Oh, my bad. Yeah. three silver. 50 copper each a night. Ooh. I thought I said How five about silver, a bad. performance a night? <laughs> you, you, can, you and, you and uh, the, the plasmoid, you two can stay here for free. The rest yeah. of you if you guys want me to put on a show, I definitely can. No, no, we don't need to see that. If you're bringing me no, I'm, I'm really good at this. Stay here, but the rest of them. Uh... What do you do then, Malachi? Well, what is you your just talent? have to come and see. So that's that's yeah. only going to be a total of one silver a night, since Oakley doesn't need a room. Yeah, good job, Oakley. <laughs> well, that works. Yeah, I got it. Oh, good. W Oakley and W Nixie. Yippee! So if you... Pardon you... me, Kaylin. Kaylin, um, did you say that there was going to be a reward of some sort for the work we have for you? Hmm. Yeah, I'll see what I can find. How about some more find. pancakes? Food for free for a week. Ooh. And I'll mm. see if I can find anything. Mm. I appreciate that. I request some of that liquid you put on those pancakes. <laughs> it's called, it's called syrup. Mm. It's uh, called liquid gold. I hope you know this is a big discount. The only other tavern, it's dingy and ugly, and it has cockroaches. Maybe we could go freeze those too. <laughs> <laughs> those usually have the best characters. I would no. prefer to do work that's a little bit higher than just extermination after a while. Then yeah. let's go find a goblin. Dog. It's a My dog. Bad. It's a dog. <laughs> it's, it's a little poodle. It, I can show you where, where it ran off into the forest at. How long has this session been going on for? An hour and a half. Oh, God. I'm not particularly <laughs> fond of chasing animals. Uh, I would rather just stay here and perform. Yeah, I'm more afraid that Jack Show would shoot it on sight. <laughs> I would as well. <laughs> that sounds funner than uh, not chasing anything. I'll, I'll help. If a little kid needs their chicken animal back, that's a dire need. <laughs> it's his I can help friend. as well. He's a weird kid. He's... No, this is horrible. He's I'm definitely lot... going to help. He, she, she starts whispering to you, he's a lot like Fosto. He's a weirdo. But he I got like mauled by a slime? Oh. <laughs> what? Fosto got mauled by a slime? Fosto died. What? Just but for a little bit. I'm going to tell his mother, this little oh, idiot. No. <laughs> I thought it would get compassion, but that's not the way it went. Health insurance? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. I'll, I'll get someone else to watch over the tavern. We can. I'll, I'll bring you to where he ran off at if you guys want to <clears throat> do this. Okay. Thinks he walks over to mm. Jack's show. Are you sure you wouldn't be accompanying us? Mm. We could really use your expertise, Jack Show. I've seen what you can do with those weapons of yours. Oh, yes, I'm well aware that I'm a valuable asset. I just need to determine what is valuable to me. Hunting a dog. Or performing until night. Uh, Tavern owner, uh, I forgot your name. Is, uh, I am calling Kaylin. out to the tavern owner. Kaylin. Kaylin. Uh, yes, uh, Kaylin. <clears throat> Kaylin. Yeah? What time do you close? We close, well, I, I stopped working around 
uh, 1 a.m. and then I get some sleep and then my uh, my assistant over there she takes a nap at around 3 a.m. We're working pretty much 24 7. Hmm. I, I need to get my my sleep around 1 a.m. and she needs to get her sleep. She takes naps throughout the day. Uh, I will chase a dog then. As much as I love to perform, your patrons uh, around here seem to be uh, quite uh, dull. So I will go ahead and just come with. I look at Nixie. You've persuaded me. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate the help, Jack Show. And think about it. In the long term, this may be the first step in a series of adventures that would leave you performing on the highest and grandest stage. That sounds lovely. We all have to start somewhere. Absolutely. Absolutely. I've already started somewhere. The question <laughs> is, where do I start? <laughs> A rebirth. A new beginning. Ah. Uh, I yes. should probably mention to all of you, I am a god now. What? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, so... yeah. <laughs> I'm going to need some content. <laughs> <laughs> I can't so... even make it through the sentence. <laughs> you know how, uh, I, I assume we're away from the, the tavern people by now. Yeah, Kaylin is now walking you guys towards the entrance. How about so... we say we're on the way to the forest? You're, you're like nearing the entrance of the village. Go ahead and tell us what you, what you want to say. So, uh, last night, I, you know, very legally entered a man's home and proclaimed myself to be a god, so that's a thing now. Uh. <laughs> uh what a fairy tale. Lalo Malachi. That's so uh. cool. <laughs> Thank you, Oakley. I guess Oakley, I commend you on your He has bad influence. Oh, sorry. I like it. Well, I mean, you guys said we needed money, so I got money. Uh, I don't know. You did your job. I commend you. Here, Jack no Show, I hand, him a, I hand him a silver piece. Oh! <laughs> Jack Show gracefully bows. I will always take tips for doing absolutely nothing. I also want to give Oakley 10, 10 copper. I don't know where he'll put it, but... Oh, I have a backpack. <laughs> okay. And I'll, yeah, put 20 you, I'll put 10 oh, copper in his backpack. Just stick it in the backpack. And yep. Like turns around. <laughs> <laughs> I could oh, use man. a little pocket change myself if that would be okay. Well, I do have all the money in the world. Uh, <laughs> I give her nine silver just so I can have an even ten. Perfect. Um, I never described thank what Caitlin looks. What'd you say? Oh, uh, she just said thank you, Malika. I never described what she looks like. She is a. Uh, older looking woman, 40 years old probably, with her hair in a bun, uh, black hair as well as Fosto, and um, wearing a, what's it called, like a cooking cloth thingy so you don't get food on your clothes. An apron? Apron! apron. I, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wearing a white shirt and some brown pants. Um, you, you all are leaving the village now with her leading you. <clears throat> The guard says, bye-bye. <laughs> she walks you all to the edge of the forest nearby. This this mm. is about where where he plays with the dog and plays with the animals around here. He said that the dog ran off in that direction. She points towards the forest. You might be able to find some mm. tracks or something. I, keep I ask the, uh, this is a little boy or is this a grown man? It was, uh, <clears throat> he, he's a little boy, he's my son, he's around, mm, he's around 12 years old. Okay. On a scale around. of 1 to 10, how wretched is this forest? Wretched? As the child. <laughs> <laughs> and that too, you can never be too, too sure. <laughs> Wait, what'd you ask about the kid? Uh, no, uh, I asked on, on a scale of 1 to, to 10, how wretched is the forest? Um, <clears throat> Are there any known evils in it, is what I'm trying to, to ask at all. I mean, it's 
it's a forest. There's been some weird stuff going on recently. The old man uh, at his farm, he, he said he's been losing some sheep. Uh, there's bears in there, I know for sure. Maybe like mm. a four or five. I mean, you know forests, they aren't very good to go into. Bandit camps and all that. Goblins. Mm. Ghouls. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> Understood. Well, we will be on our way then. Oh, Onward. Onward. To find the poodle. Good luck. What's the poodle's name? Oh, the poodle's name is... Good move. Good catch. Uh, uh, good, uh, yeah. Poodle man. Poodle's name is Teddy. 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 <laughs> Teddy. What a lovely name. I'm sure Teddy. Teddy will turn out just fine. We'll be on our way now. Wouldn't it be easier to just burn down the forest and then the uh, dog would run out? Can we, no. a break? can we take a break? I gotta go pee. <laughs> yeah, yes. I'll be here back then. All right, sick. I'll go pee as well. It's a urination break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> urination break. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself a popsicle as I eat that. Turn. Eli's back. Eli is back. Hello. I realize that most of this session has just been Malachi madness. <laughs> no, only like ten minutes. <laughs> Did everyone have to take a urination break? Apparently. <laughs> Even Shroom did. <laughs> oh, I just remembered that I made Malachi chaotic good. <laughs> so, I had to step up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was doing good things. Mm -hmm. Technically. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. Welcome back. <clears throat> uh. We're gonna find this dog. <laughs> uh, Jack, whenever you were looking cross-eyed at Kaylin. If mm -hmm. you rolled good on a charisma check, I would have given you free food. Well, she would have given you free food. So. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> that kind of sucks the way it happened. Yeah, I forgot to mention that he is cross-eyed. He's, like, uglyly cute, if that makes sense. <laughs> like, he's ugly so ugly cute. that you kind of look at him kind of like, aw. <laughs> I'm back. It's like a pug in that way. Uh -huh. So it's like, you're sorry for him? <laughs> yeah, you're kind of like, feel sorry for him because he's so ugly. I have returned. Is that everyone? I have ice cream! Hey, oh, that's what you were doing? Popsicle. Wait. Yeah, well, yeah. What kind I of should ice get ice cream? cream too. Oh my gosh. 
kind of ice cream. It's very important. Colombian coffee. Yeah. Yeah, gum. All right, I'll be back. Did <laughs> <laughs> he actually leave? I mean, if he's gone, I might as well too. Bruh. <laughs> I've inspired an ice cream exodus. Yeah, no, I'm eating a popsicle right now, so. Well, you can get ice cream if you want to. I can't eat ice cream. I'm very upset right now. Should we just go ahead and start? You're sick? Upset. Oh, upset. Oh, okay. Should we go ahead and start or not? I mean, um, if it's just us walking through the forest. No, well. So sad. You're going to see something important, so. I'll... Okay. Uh, I did forget to mention, you guys did see a quest board inside of the tavern. Oh! Oh, neat. oh okay. And it was seemingly overflowing with quests. Like, there were a bunch of pieces of paper on it. Base of operation found! <laughs> <laughs> um, how... How annoying is, um, Tesca? How persistent are they? Well, um... I'm back. I'm not sure if your character would know, but Malachi at least would know that in the last... I would? <laughs> Neat. Yeah, because you lived in Tesco. Uh, I did. You would know that the last time there was a big riot and people escaped that same prison, they were hunted down within weeks and killed. Around, like, I'd say 20 mm -hmm. people escaped and they were all killed within weeks. They were hunted down, <clears throat> like, two neighboring countries as well. Hmm. <laughs> anyway. That sounds helpful. <laughs> I assume we're all ready maybe, now. Yeah. Maybe not a base of operations. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Can't wait for this village to burn to the ground. Uh, let me try and remember. Uh, Malachi, you would know that the furthest people escaped to was, uh, the United Tribes, uh, the of America? <laughs> the United Tribes of Arania, <laughs> Arana, Ir Irina, that's how you say it. The UTA. <laughs> and, Eagle Screech. And, um, <laughs> some in the United Tribes, some in Kiver, and only one person in the Kingdom of Sinas. Not many people escaped into Sinas for some reason. So we will now be restarting, or not restarting, starting again. Roll a new character. Roll, <laughs> roll, 46, <laughs> roll a new character. Roll forty six. Drop a lowest, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> while, while, uh, while traveling through the forest, are any of you trying to track him at all? I mean, I suppose we would all be doing that because that's what we were supposed to be doing. Um, would I be able to track like his footprints if I'm like? Everyone rolls survival. Survival. Oh, everybody. Oh, oh boy. Shit, I still have it. Well, if you're it doesn't trying... matter because I... oh. If you're trying to look for tracks, <laughs> roll for survival. I don't think this is going to be our party strong suit. <laughs> I am the survival I'm man. A... Jack Show. Jack Show has good. Speak for yourself. Oh, uh... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jack's Can't here. go crazy. You you can see have you ever even met a dog in your life? Um. <laughs> you can see a few, um, a few dog tracks leading uh, further now. into the forest, and also you see some weird, large footsteps or not footsteps, uh, animal tracks. Um, let me just Google something real quick. Uh, it, it's like their their bottom their heel is like too long to be a bear. Okay, I um kind of get down. Oakley kind of gets down and like acts like a dog in a way that like sniffs the ground and then looks at everyone. He's like that away and then points <laughs> with his nose and like with his paw, the leg sticking up. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ugly. What? I respect you more every day. <laughs> I would say it's about 7 a.m. now, by the way. Eh, 6.30. It's 
So as you continue on following the dog tracks, you continue seeing these weirdly large uh, animal tracks. They seem like they could be a bear, but the foot is way too long to be a bear. <clears throat> and you hear howling from, like, right in front of you. Oh, no. Within the, <clears throat> within ten feet. Hmm. Okay. Hmm? Makes you, you ready your hands. You don't see anything. Yeah. But it's very close to you. Would you like to investigate? Um... Uh, I, I I suppose I'll go forward. I would also like to investigate. All right, same. As you guard is up. <laughs> as you like look behind. I didn't uh, say it. It was from behind a uh, patch of trees. As you mm -hmm. look behind the trees where you heard the howling from, you see a pack of wolves. That is not the poodle. <laughs> <laughs> it's they're weirdly small. They're as tall as like a a corgi. Tiny wolves. Tiny wolves. There's Beta a pack wolves. Of, there's a pack what are of they doing? They're just walking around. They're way too small. They are not normal wolves. That is. Crazy. But they look like normal wolves, other than their size. Did the poodle and a wolf have children? <laughs> Not in a day! <laughs> Not in a day! Okay. They are normal wolves, but they are very small. Like, I shouldn't have said corgi, I forgot what I was originally going to say. They're the size of raccoons. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh! That's all the raccoon raccoons. wolves. <laughs> They're the size of raccoons, but they seem like normal wolves. What size were those footprints? They were very large, like... A lot bigger than these wolves. I, I say we tail them for a bit. You tail them? <laughs> no, tail them for a while. We'll just follow them around. Where are the where are the dog tracks leading? The dog tracks are leading in a different direction. You were walking in one direction, and these wolves were like off to the left. I say we just continue on our regular path. Well, Nixie seems to be the voice of reason, so I'll listen to her. I agree. <laughs> All right, as you as you continue following these dog tracks, <clears throat> let me go to my notes. One second. Where is it? You see, a hummingbird, the size of a dwarf, and it is struggling to get off of the ground. Can it... I go talk to it? Sure. Oh, no. <laughs> no. 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 I want to go talk to it. Uh-oh. DM has to play an NPC he wasn't prepared for. No, it's for a very different reason. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, Clay, you go and talk to the summoning bird? Yeah, I already said I was going to. No, not for that reason. Okay, I go up to it. Hello! Are you okay? Wait, I think you would have to cast Speak with Animals for this since it is not a cat. Uh, well, I thought druids can just talk to animals, right? No. <clears throat> I think... I'm not sure what that ability is, but I but druids can't just automatically talk to animals. Oh, that's the wrong person. Okay. I don't really have that then. I don't have that ability. Okay. You don't have it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Wait, can you tell me what happened though? <laughs> I'll tell no, you at the end of the obviously. session. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Spoiler. But it, it is, no. it's probably like three foot or four foot tall. And it is Dang struggling on. to go off the ground. I'm not sure how big dwarves are. I'm assuming they're as large as goblins. They're like three to four feet, right? Yeah. So it's, it's about... Nixie, Nixie cast detect magic. What do I do for this? <laughs> so if um, it's a spell, so do you just I know can, the spell? I know the um if there's magic present, and I know if uh what class it is. 
what class of magic. Let me just go to I'm, I'm assuming it's transmutation, but there is clearly magic present to you after casting that. Um, and you can tell that it is transmutation magic. Okay. Um, I believe the duration is ten minutes. I'm just going to keep it up. Can you like sense where magic is coming from? Within thirty feet of me, yes. <laughs> okay. Well, if you walk past that, then as you continue to follow these dog tracks, you um you come across a clearing in the forest, <clears throat> and you see that the uh, the bear tracks I was talking about previously lead into this clearing. Would you like to look into it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you being stealthy? Well, I've, I mean, I feel like we've been doing that this whole time after we saw the bird. All right. Yeah, we've, we've definitely been on edge. Yeah, we're watching. I'm not, not sure if I should give Don't. you guys your old stealth for this or not. I... It's up to you. No, you don't have to. You're all being stealthy enough. Yippee. In this cool. clearing... Close! <laughs> in this clearing, <laughs> you can see a massive squirrel. Probably like... I love him. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Probably... <laughs> oh my god. Why, why must you distract me with these things? <laughs> as, as large as a bear is just sitting on a wow. on a fallen over tree uh, fallen over tree eating nuts what is this squirrel over here it's as large as a bear oh, wait, sitting, oh, oh, okay. oh, wow. like, sitting on a tree eating nuts and yes giga you, would squirrel. All, you would all be over here giga squirrel <laughs> do we oh, see the dog go. you do not see the dog you is can, the um, squirrel the only animal around it is the only animal around you can see that the dog tracks are leading this way. Okay. Hope you can see that. Okay, well, I'm just going to uh, thaumaturgy um, and create a noise over here. Over where? I didn't see your ping. All right. Um, <laughs> it snaps its head around as it's still eating, uh, still eating nuts. I can't make squirrel sounds. I was gonna what? attempt to bite, but I'll do it. <laughs> Thank you for that. It, You're welcome. It, there you go. <laughs> it walks over a little bit and tries to look through the bush. You know, as a guy that's been around squirrels, that was pretty daggum accurate. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it okay, looks, I'm gonna take. I heard, that, I heard that noise before I shot one once. Rexo <laughs> wants to go along the wood line this way. And uh, yeah. to progress, might as well to sneak around. No, There's no point. No, I want you guys to roll me stealth if you're doing that. Okay. <clears throat> I. Oh crap! We're so oh, good at this. God. We're so good at this. Oh, Sarah, Sarah oh, wow. is good at this. Okay, give me a second. I'm trying to. Um... Nice. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh man. You you are all stealthy enough to um to get by. Uh Oakley, you do however step on a branch. It makes a little oh. bit of noise, but the squirrel doesn't seem to notice. It's uh preoccupied with pulling acorns through the bush that uh Malachi casted Thaumaturgy on and eating them. Thank god. <laughs> Let's keep Fantastic. going. We just keep, keep on going. Yeah, Jack. Yeah, we out of here. Yeah, we make it through. Mm hmm Yeah, you make it through. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Without a word. Hey, yo. No. Thaumaturgy <laughs> 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 no. is my favorite spell. I love it. <laughs> All right. You, you, you make it through easily enough. As you, as you uh, continue following the tracks, you hear the squirrel. Nomming on acorns even harder. Even harder. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does what? that mean? The squirrels only get one shot in the acorns. Exactly. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Good job, Squirrel. Like... Very proud of you. <laughs> um, mm. you, you, continue, you continue on. Um, <laughs> the tracks are seeming more and more clear. <clears throat> and uh, let me check how... Uh, okay. So, you're now starting to see more weird tracks. Um, let me google something real quick please don't look weird you see like weird uh how do i describe this like two spikes into the ground as like a i don't know how to describe this like mm, two spikes into the ground uh with uh six six on each side six feet on each side apparently that's what I'm trying to say. Whoa. It looks like a six-legged okay. animal with weird spike spikes for feet. Oh gosh. A spider? <laughs> That's awful. It's a weird no, it's, hedgehog. Um, <laughs> spiders have eight. I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh yeah, right, right. I'm dumb. An ant? <laughs> oh. I was thinking ant. It is in the same direction as the dog tracks. Do the tracks gradually turn into that, or is it just that stomping over dog tracks? It's like beside the dog tracks. Oh. oh. Either this dog is really good at making friends, or really good at being dinner. The ant tracks are not as clear as the dog tracks. The dog tracks, like, they seem to have happened ah, a lot I more see. recently than these, mm. these other tracks. Jack showed, kind of just goes, Ah... Where is this rat? Dog. <laughs> You've only Dog. been walking for about 10 minutes so far. <clears throat> so, oh, okay. as you all continue, uh, hmm. <laughs> you once again see a clearing after about 5 minutes of walking. More squirrels. <laughs> More squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> these, these tracks lead into it. I will show you what it looks like. Oh, it was ants. No. Yeah. Oh, good call. I love this map. You all would be right around here. Yeah, I stole it from That's Google. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> As we all do, brother. You can you can see them all uh, drinking from some sort of pond. And uh, how big are they? They are roughly the size of a. Mm, roughly the size of like a tiger. Ugh. What? Oh, my Jeez. gosh. Jeez. Jeez. That's appropriate. Uh, do they look? Um. Do they look? What? What's the word? Uh, like bad. Aggressive. Do we do we notice a dog? You can see the tracks. Uh, the dog tracks leading all the way from. I'll give you like a. Ruler, all the way from here here okay and they are okay. very clear now they seem to have happened within the last um, four hours it's time Mixie. to use my favorite spell <laughs> thaumaturgy Mixie looks, looks at um malachi and kind of um holds up her art she's going to cast prestidigitation and make in the air little smoke letters that say tremors they respond to vibration then i will go ahead and uh make the ground shake wow <laughs> yeah be beatboxing <laughs> tremors <I'll> <laughs> <laughs> oh god i don't know what to do for this <laughs> oh, God. Do, do you cast the tremors on the pond where the ants are? I don't know if yeah, I can control where they are. How do um? Where do you, uh, cast you cast them over the entire map. Oh, okay. It has the range. It has the range of the spell. Range for yeah. So it's... I'm gonna walk up. Give me a stealth check. Eh. Hold up, I have to figure out where I'm walking. It might not uh, matter. Roll a stealth check. <laughs> uh, let me know where you're walking and roll a stealth check. All right, I'll, I'll just go probably here. Okay, roll a stealth check. 
Oh no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A boof. Mm -hmm. One second, one second, one second. Uh, does it have a... I, I assume it doesn't have... Oh! You notice one ant look over to you. This ant right here notices you. I can't ping. Why can't I ping? And it's it's trying to alert the other ants. I would like everyone. I okay. Yeah, here we go. I'd like everyone to roll an, an initiative. Initiative. Uh, initiative. Uh, nice, Jack Show. Let's go. Oh, let me add the thing. Dang it. <laughs> nice. Hey. I need to find my things. My Dude, 25 is disgusting. I can't even erase them. Yeah, that's good. Oh, hey, uh, good. Uh, 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 all right. I have a need and technical question. Your, um, your modifiers can only be up to five, right? Because 20 is nope, your limit you can, four. You can go, you can go over five with certain items. Okay. So me and other people here are already maxed out at 20, uh, um, 20, like 20 score and five because five, is it safe to say that five is like a soft cap? Because that's as yeah. far as you, you can't can you can't naturally get higher than a score of twenty without the assistance of items. Okay, so how come? So let's say that if you're level ten or higher, how common is yeah. it for people to? Wow! Oh, oh, lady, I'm a giant now. <laughs> <My bad. laughs> so what were you saying, Jerry? As our levels increase. So if I take a number like level 10, how common is it for people's com um, ability scores to be higher than 20 and their modifiers high? Like, are we generally capped at five? Like generally, or is it expected for players Here's to actually? Thing. Um, your proficiency bonus will automatically increase as you level up. Mm. That's how numbers get bigger. Okay. And um, whenever you level up, you get the ability score increases every few levels, mm -hmm. which um, for us, it would be at level four and level eight, I believe. But you get more because you're a fighter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I think you get one at six as well. Um, mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> um, you're usually not going to see any supernatural increases by level ten. But it, it depends on the campaign and the DM. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. Okay. Sorry, it is my turn, I believe. Yes, sir. Eli. Okay. I would like, uh, let me pull out my, okay, let's see, for some reason, uh, which, which button is it to draw an arrow? What? Oh, an the arrow? ruler. Oh, 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 the ruler. The, it's, the ruler. It's on the top left, it just looks like a ruler. Okay, well, anyway, so I want to go, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I want to move to my max amount. Uh, since we already have their attention, I want to... Oh, what is the range on my pistol? It should be enough. Yeah, it should be enough? enough. Uh, okay, That's well... Uh, okay, I wanted to make sure just in case. Yeah, okay. But I figure I wanted to target this with a simple shot. Let's me roll. I think, I think it has... Oh, never mind. Eli, um, yes. for future reference, a, a creature that is behind an object like this, like this little rock, yeah. Um, it would have probably three quarters cover. No. So is that if a disadvantage? I'm... No. Three quarters cover just automatically adds a plus four to the creature's AC. All right. Oh wow. I don't know if that would help though. You you managed well, to hit it, it wouldn't. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. But just just for future reference. You. Okay. You shoot one of its antennas off. It is still going strong. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. <laughs> Is that the end of your turn? Yes. All right, next up will be Nixie. Beautiful. Um, so I'm going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, right it to here, and target the same one Jack Show just targeted. Right. I should have clear line of sight as I... Uh, as she lifts up her hands and the icy uh, rhyme begins to form on her fingers, she fires out a blast of cold energy at this ant. Okay. 
What she you... shoots a ray of frost. It's going to be a 26 to hit. It hits. Go ahead and roll damage. It's only going to be five cold damage. What did he roll? Uh, you you managed to <clears throat> you you managed to uh, hit it in the head and freeze its head fully solid. It falls over. Wow. To it. Nice. Whoa. Right. I forgot to mention this uh, this ant that I'm moving right now. It looks a lot larger than the rest of them. Okay. It seems Good to be like lion sized. Could rather you put than a the tigers. On it? <laughs> yeah, that's an important uh, detail. <laughs> yeah, I'll add like a yeah. cool thing. I'll fact to it. Yeah. Uh, is, if that is the end of your turn, next up is a Phil Cassiopeia. Do you yeah, don't think. Oh, 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 oh. Actually, actually, at the end of my turn, I'm going to pat Oakley on the head. <laughs> Oakley. <laughs> this is a little surprise for me. And she's going to cast Dragon's Breath on Oakley. <laughs> <laughs> you can now you can now breathe fire. <laughs> oh, I, oh. oh yes. <laughs> yes. Oakley just kind of bursts and like smoke comes out. <laughs> oh, I know what I'm doing. Okay, I walk mm. up and give Oakley Bardic in Bardic inspiration. <laughs> so, it's not an attack roll. It's not okay. Dang. No. Okay, then I'm giving Bardic inspiration to Jack Show. Ooh, and what does that do? Can you ping it so in the chat? So your, your next, um, yeah, I'll try. Your next, um, your next attack be... basically is going to, any, any roll 20, you can add a d6 to it. Any yep. roll you pretty much do. Gotcha. Okay. Um, any d20, it's great. Yep. And then I'm going to cast Vicious Mockery on the sand. I think that's the sand range. All right. Yeah, this one. Um... And then I say, um, after I leave here, I'll need a strong drink to make drink to make me forget your powerful stink. I did not do that character. Does that hit? Ooh. Oh, there's uh, no hit for it. It's just spell DC. And then if not, he has disadvantage on oh, his next attack. Oh, wisdom save. Okay. Yeah. If he fails, he has disadvantage. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, it okay. succeeded. Okay. So he gets disadvantage on his next attack? Mm -hmm. No, he, he succeeded on the. On he, the he, or no, yeah, so it he didn't succeed. It. I mean, it failed. Oh, so yeah, oh, he's just oh advantage on that. I misspoke. Attack. He kind of rocks back as that vicious mockery hits him, and he looks a little sad. <laughs> 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 that's great. So, if that's the end of your turn, next up will be Oakley. Um. Okay. So the breathing fire thing, I could literally. Go yeah, you as an over. action, as an action, you can breathe fire in a fifteen foot cone. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I <clears throat> am actually going to go over to Malachi. I'm gonna scurry over there, and I'm going to give <laughs> him uh, guidance. Hey. And remember that only applies to ability checks. Yeah. That's not yeah, attack roll. Not that's not that. saving rolls. Okay. And then I'm going to... Um, uh, let's see here. Hold on. I'm going to just go over here. I'm going to go on this rock, actually. Let's scurry on this rock. And I'm going to breathe fire on this ant over here. Um, how exactly Ooh. does this work again? Was it an attack roll or no? Yeah, how does it work? <laughs> uh, it's just a 15 foot cone. Um, so anything in the 15 feet. Yeah, he's just out of range. Oh, I'm out of range? Dang it. Do you yeah, just it? barely. Can I get closer? But is... you can you can hold your action. So okay. you can prepare the fire breath and then okay. um, yeah, say yeah. that when the ant gets into range, I breathe fire on him as the trigger okay and okay. yeah you do not have any more movement so okay i'll do that all right okay that's the end of his turn malachi is up next <clears throat> all right i am going to run all the way up here and uh, how do you malachi, get over the tree is that difficult terrain does that take no extra you, can, movement? you can jump over it pretty easily i'd say cool okay uh, Malachi is just going to use, um, Lightning Lure. Alrighty, can you send that in chat for me? Oh, cool. And That's a really he good idea. is oh. going to... 
look down really sadly and say, <clears throat> Zephyr's grasp, lightning coil, draw them close with electric toil. <laughs> Bro. Uh, yeah. He looks so sad while he says it. I love it. Uh, I I am so sorry. He succeeded the strength leaving throw. Yeah, Malachi just sits there. The, the he's sad. The whip goes off course. It's just... And it doesn't take half damage, if I am correct. It just doesn't do damage now. Yeah. That yeah, Malachi is just gonna chill then. I mean, I guess he can go into hiding with cunning action. Yeah, he can do that. Uh, you yeah. Can probably. Let's say you're obscured by a bush. I am. Made me so sad. <laughs> this ant will walk over here, and Oakley. You can Malachi do be hide. Do the thing. Yeah, you can. You can oh, use can your reaction to breathe fire now. Okay. How do I do I roll something or it's going to be three D six and the ant has to make a dexterity save to try and beat a fifteen. He failed. Roll three D six for me. Ooh, uh, Ooh nice. If I'm correct, oh, he has some weapon damage. He, he, no, he jumps back from the fire and you burn one of his legs off. Oh he's mm. looking hurt. <clears throat> Um, and it's still the ant's turn, so let me... I assume he just has 30 feet of movement. If I'm not stupid. It doesn't even... Oh, no. 40. Do -do 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 -do. This ant right here will walk right up to you, Oakley, and it will be uh, attempting to bite you. What is your armor class? My armor class is... 16. Uh, you dodge out of the way as it just bites the air. And then next... Oh wait, I assume it can still move though. Uh, Malachi's it can, yeah. in. So the other ant will also be trying to bite you. Oh nice. <laughs> oh no, it Oh wow. Played. Oh, that's annoying. Oh gosh. Oh, no, I rolled the wrong thing, I rolled the wrong thing. You said 16? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. It bites onto your leg as you take a total of nine damage. Okay. Oh, dang. And next up will be him. Too far. He walks right over here. And that's the end of oh. his turn. Next up is Jack Shaw. Okay, I'm going to move. Uh, let's see. I'm going to move directly. Uh, I can't. I'm sorry. I grab my character to move him here. I will. Chant quietly to myself. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I want to use my AV pistol. I want to spend two grit points on violent shots on the biggest boy here. Ooh, right. dang. Um, I do want to keep in mind that that I have the blessed. Yeah. It has. Okay. Nice. Uh, two grit points is two extra damage dice on top of this one. All right. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Let me, uh... One, that's 25? 25 points of damage. 25? Piercing. Ah, yeah, it's that, piercing. I think I that would have... I think that would have shot, or one-shot most of us. <laughs> it would have. Um, you, once again, shoot this ant's antenna off. Well, I'd say you shot both of them off. In one hit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, th thank you. <laughs> it is, okay. It's looking very dazed, but it's still alive. The antennas are shooting blood out of its out of its antennas. <laughs> Jeez. It's okay. And, it's still up and moving, but it is hurt, hurt. Okay. Um. How long, Sarah? How how long does your thing last for? Is it just for one dice roll? No, it lasts for ten any? minutes. So you got it for basically this whole encounter. Okay. Until you I'm use it. <laughs> Oh, shit. Ten minutes is six hundred rounds. I don't think we're we're gonna get that. You can't add it to damage. Yeah, right, right, right. But once you use it, um, away, but I can always give it back, so don't worry too much. Right. Yeah, sure. Okay, but then I'm gonna stop there. Go ahead, next. Nixie is next up whenever you're ready. All right. So she saunters up to um to uh, Jack Shaw. Good shooting. My turn. She. <laughs> She's going to shoot him again with some ice. Alrighty. 
Penal. First attack. Ray of Frost. Natural Easy. 20. Oh, we love right. those. We love damage. those. She is going to empower this to re-roll that too. Didn't, didn't we have a specific rule, a rule for crits? I'm going to see if I can find it. Oh, you did. You um, did. And I really like will deal damage rolled plus modifiers plus maximum damage. So that'll be a two plus your modifier plus a... Uh, plus eight. Plus eight. Okay, I'm still going to re-roll that too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. All right. So five. Uh, so that's going to be... No, I don't get modifiers on it, on this cantrip, unfortunately. 18? So judges five plus eight is going to be 13, I think. Not bad. Okay, how do you want to do this? Yes! All right. Um, I'm going to, she's going to aim towards the, uh, towards the legs and with the first cantrip, blast off um, the leg and just kind of hold the beam there while it falls. So the ice just kind of goes all over it while it hits the ground. Nice. As her bonus action, she is going to quicken another cantrip at this guy and fire again. <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll. Ah. It just barely misses and hits the same one that you just killed again. <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. <laughs> That's the end of your turn. Next up is Phil Cassiopeia, the, the Dardigan, the 15th. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing out of pettiness now. <laughs> hey. Oh, let me add a little X. He walks up to about here and he says, uh, hear my words, hear my words and strike your bow. I add a plus six to your next blow. And he says this to Malachi. So you have a bardic inspiration. Um, hey. And then he is going to look at one of them and basically start whispering as they hear whispering in their heads. Which one? Oh, sorry, this one. And can you send uh, the song at whispers in chat? Yep. Wisdom saving throw. You said this one, correct? The one closest to Malachi? Yep. Okay, wisdom saving throw. Where is my thing? He's trying to be a 14. Trying to be a... Oh, he succeeded. Does it take half okay. damage? Okay, yeah, it takes half damage and isn't pushed away. Or it, it doesn't have to move away. Alrighty, so that will be a total of four damage. Uh, it like it sort of shrieks as you whisper this to it. Phil's content with himself. He, that's his turn. All right, and next up oh. is Oakley. Um, I'm going to cast if I can. Uh, cast Entangled again. Am I able to do that? Um, I mean. Where are you casting it at? I'm casting at these two. That would entangle both of you. No, he can he can decide where the cube goes. Okay. So he can he can make it yes, he can make it to where the um at any point within ninety feet he can make the to the square. Alrighty. Which is only which is only twenty feet cube. Well, you can cast that then. I try to get both of these um Yep. Hands on it. Let me do a strength saving throw. Uh, your spell save DC is 13. Is that right? Mm. Yeah, that's 13. I feel like that's yeah. a little low. No, it's Does that seem wrong to you, Luke? Um, if his if his wisdom is plus is uh plus three, then no. That All is right. that is correct. Well, they both successfully dodge the um. Uh, the vines as they shoot up towards the ants. Okay, so they dodge them. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to scurry to... Um... Uh, that would incite an opportunity attack. So Wait, the, I can't this move. ant would attack you if you tried to run away. Okay. Uh... Baldur's Gate 3 taught to me that all too well. <laughs> I, I get punished so hard because I like, oh yeah, yeah. those exist in D&D, &D. I forgot. <laughs> yep. It has killed many characters before. <laughs> I don't think I could really do anything here. 
All right, then we're just gonna go ahead and go to Malachi. Um, I'm going to finally do a rogue thing and stab it with my rapier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sneak attack, I assume, right? Since yep. Gaiden. Um, yeah, that it's hits. Sneak it's not. Not one. No ice. Only on a sneak attack. Alrighty, well. Uh, that's still twelve. Uh, eleven. Or eleven. Yeah. My as bad. you as you stab into it, uh, where are you stabbing it up? Uh, just, just like, I, if I can, I'm gonna skewer it. As you pokey, pokey, poke it in the chest, you stab directly through its heart, and the heart comes out the other side. Ooh. Uh, Luke, can I use my hearts. bonus action to take a swing with my short sword? Um, yes, you can actually. Okay, then I'll do that. You just, you just can't add your dex to the damage. And it, will it be sneak attack as well? No, sneak happens it's not once finesse. per turn. Okay. Once per turn. And I will use my bonus action to swing, swing. Is it no dexterity to the attack? To or? the damage. All right. Uh, wait. The attack is. Are you moving and attacking this one? I, I suppose I would dead. move forward. Um, okay. I believe you could do that. You, do do. you swing. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, can I add bodic inspiration to damage, or is that just the roll? No. Okay. Yeah! Ooh, <laughs> nice. That's tough. Uh, you it, was it, a little, it was a D6. Give it a little scrape on the knee. Bop. Brother tried. Bop. Brother but tried. It hurts its feelings. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's the end of your turn. The ant will go next. He went, hey you, poke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's going to try and bite at you, Malachi. What's your armor class? 14. 14, it hits you. You will be. Ah. Oh my god! <laughs> you take five damage. It bites. Yeah. You. It bites into your shoulder as you feel basically nothing. <laughs> That's the end. Guys, of I got him locked here. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> yeah, it's just stuck on your shoulder right now. That's the end of the ant's turn. Next up is Chuck Show. Fantastic. Okay, so uh, we. I'm, I'm seeing one ant left. Wasn't there a fourth one? Is uh, he standing on it? Yeah. He's still. On it. Oh. But that one's dead. Oh, okay. Easy. Yeah. Sh okay, dead. straight shot here. I'm going to... Well, Jack Show knows that piercing isn't effective, but he casts... Not casts, sorry. He aims his pistol and he fires... Nice. At attempts to fire 18. Let's go. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. No way. Sheesh. That is insane. Right, how do you want to do this? That's almost max damage. Dang. Oh my. Okay. Ja Jack Show knows within his soul that this is the final shot and he almost for an instant <laughs> in his own mind is like in just pure ecstasy at the beauty of this extremely gr grotesque headshot where his, this ant completely explodes there's, <laughs> there's blood everywhere you got it ant blood on me dude <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what the heck it was rolls his pistol the and then oh, gracefully shit. bows nice Nixie gives a little clap. Ugh. Justin, I just want to let you know the only reason he just killed that ant is because you did one damage. <laughs> yeah. I'm so proud of myself. Oh my I'm God. so proud of myself. Beautiful. Oh, that's uh, awesome. Beautiful. Jack Shaw gets all the credit. <laughs> and you got your grid points back. Yippee. Yeah, true. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Do you regain all of them or you just have... one? It's it's to the DM's discretion, apparently. So um, that would be up to you. How many grit points do you have total? Uh, right now three. I can have a max of five. Well, I spent I'd two say earlier. You regain you regain one for every kill. <laughs> okay. Right. You have gotten the finishing blow in every single encounter. Well, I yeah, wasn't sure true. if I was gonna. Uh, not was gonna not the this. rats. Not the rats. Oh, Should that that, that that's that. was not really an encounter. <laughs> it was I don't think that was a fight. We rolled initiative. <laughs> it, it was supposed to be an encounter. I know what he's saying though. Yeah, I got lucky a lot of times. And and hey, I'm a, hey, Jack Show does not complain. He loves. No, it. no, I'm I'm saying it's beautiful. It was I'm just, saying it's it was so in good character. that you did fire damage on the on the ooze. <laughs> um, what was I gonna oh, say? Gosh. So if 
if my uh, if my party kills the boss before the fight is over, should I? How do you want to do this with the with the last enemy as well as the boss? Like, um, it depends. Uh, for me, I run it on. Um, typically, a player isn't going to go overly crazy on how do you want to do this on a single like grunt. Yeah. So it just it just organically works out. I think from now on, I. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I'll see you on the next combat. So you can see the uh, the dog tracks are continuing to lead past this broken tree into this into this area. Okay, okay well, oh. Jack Show proudly uh, carries onward without a word. Nixie follows. Uh, detect magic should still be up, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Wait, isn't it concentration? Since oh you... yeah, so it would be it would be uh, broken by dragon's breath. Alrighty. Well, quickly, we'll quickly no. climb Plus on to Nix's right. shoulder again and just sits there and licks his paw and cleans him. <laughs> you did such a good job, Oakley. Yeah, thanks to you. <laughs> I was like a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> You'll turn into a dragon one day, Oakley. If you try hard enough, you can do anything you want to. <sighs> I'd be so happy. <laughs> All right. After after about five to ten minutes of walking, you see a a large pond. <clears throat> a large pond with a cave near it. Inside of the pond, you can see wagon-sized fish swimming around. Oh my gosh! Wagon-sized fish. That gun boy. Jeez. And the the cave is like somewhat connected to this pond. Like, I don't know how to explain exactly. Like, there's a there's a tiny shore right up at the entrance of this cave. Gotcha. And oh, I forgot to mention the tracks lead into this cave. My bad. <laughs> Wait a second. Dark vision. <laughs> I have dark vision. <laughs> oh my god. I also have dark vision. Are you guys looking <laughs> into the cave? Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah okay. I also do not. I speak common. <laughs> <laughs> I speak common. <laughs> oh my god. The nerd at the party. Nixie, Nixie will light will light her hand for the people who cannot see. Oh, all right. <clears throat> Inside of the cave, you can see. Oh my god, I forgot to think of a description for this cave, didn't I? <laughs> it's a cave. Yeah, cave cave. Love cave. Cave. Yeah. Very caving. <laughs> Very cavey. For getting for a like... real cave feel here. <laughs> for li... I especially love how cave the cave is. Oh my god. For the first few As feet. The cave here is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> just keep going. For the first few feet, all you see is just a normal cave. But as you look further in, you can see an old man. <clears throat> an old man with, with what looks like a wizard hat. Uh, working on something on a bench. Or not a bench. Is he cave-shaped? Cave. He's not cave-shaped, sadly. <laughs> he's he's leaned over a, a table with something on the table. There are a few lights around, a, a few candles, as well as some... Uh, some like wizarding supplies. <laughs> I don't know how to how to describe that wizard supplies. That makes sense. <laughs> there uh, are Malachi. Okay, go for it. My bad. There, there's a few uh, crates around, and that's about it. Okay, Malachi's gonna use thaumaturgy and make the lights go out. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's this man is a menace. Nixie is going to yell at the top of her lungs. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I, I'm also going to yell boo, but make my voice boom three times as loud with thaumaturgy. <laughs> Intimidation with advantage, both of you. Nice. <laughs> and there, there were a few torches. Oh, oh my, my god, goodness. there were a few oh, torches. Oh, I, need a, I need a roll too. Yeah. For crying out loud. Ah. There were a few torches on on the walls inside of the cave, as well as a few candles on the. Uh, the the table he's currently working on as well as some tables around as you do that you hear this old man in a, in a wizard hat <laughs> and they 
<laughs> and dies in shock. Go. Ah! <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> he he's, he runs back behind a, a backpack and tries to hide behind a large backpack. This is this is Celis Petey. We're here to investigate a, a legal magician oh in a cave. <laughs> Deception. <laughs> well, well, that failed spectacularly. Deception. <laughs> Oh, no, we so know how this guy is. Oh! <laughs> wow, your first <laughs> not bad. I did it, guys. What, what do you mean? Nixie, what are, Nixie waves what are you her hand. Here? Nixie waves her hands and the, the torches come back on. Alright. Um, If you are walk, are, are you guys work, walking further into the cave? Yeah. Yeah. You can clearly see that what's on this table is a sedate is the sedated dog that you're looking for. <clears throat> oh. Were you trying to make this dog giant? Yes. Of or perhaps course. very small. Well, he was going to be very small. I can't get into my voice. He was going to be very small. Why? Mm. I'm working on something. Nixie is not amused. This is an illegal activity. Uh, you can't be doing this without a permit. How was a deception? <laughs> what? Uh... <laughs> How is this illegal? I'm, it is. I'm away from people. I'm. I'm not disturbing anyone. <laughs> is this You're your dog? Disturbing the environment. No, I found him in the forest. You can't just claim wild animals, sir. Does this the dog have any identification on him at all? Um, are you asking me or him? I am asking the and well, I will ask you first. Uh, this is clearly the, the dog that you're looking for and you don't see like a collar or anything oh, on him. It's in front. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. on it's on a table that he was working on before and okay. he is sedated currently. It's clearly okay. the one you, that you're looking for. It's a poodle. It's a Nixie? dark poodle. Nixie's just gonna walk up and grab the dog. Jack Show, get the gun. Oh god! <laughs> I'm, already... I'm sorry! I was, I was just trying to... <laughs> I already own two of them. You don't trying have to, to tell me. <laughs> okay, look, he, he goes into his bag, and he pulls out a, <clears throat> a, a, a glass. It kind of looks like milk. Look! Yeah. It, this is very, very... I can't get into it again. This is very nutritious. It's it's rat's milk. It's ah. it's much better. Okay. <laughs> it's much better than cows. What manner exactly do you plan with this animal? Uh, I'm I'm currently working on making animals larger. And why? Uh, but why? Why are you doing that? It's such a weird thing. I'm using them for. Ex I'm trying to perfect it. I need to make rats larger. Why? That they're like why for though? milk. Jack Show. I will not. Uh, I will not. I will turn a blind eye if you shoot this man in the face. <laughs> if I can, if I can make rats the size of cows, then we won't have to milk twenty-two rats for rat milk. Why do we need rat milk? milk? With, like... with a disgusted look on his face, Jack Show pulls his pistol and, and fires Wait. at this man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Is there any <laughs> way that Phil can intervene Get, in this? Put this like, man back in prison. Do anything. No, he's. This oh dude's getting god. shot. Oh um, my gosh. He's currently <laughs> behind a backpack. Uh, I'd say. Well, that's stop a bullet. A backpack? <laughs> roll, roll, roll the hit. Roll the hit. <laughs> All right. Alright, what we'll add three fourths? Oh, good job, Jack Show. Oh my gosh. Good job, Jack Show. Send this man back to jail. Oh my gosh. Oakley puts his paws over his eyes. <laughs> uh, we tried to warn you. How do you want to do this? <laughs> oh, my oh my god. god. Can, I, can I please roll over? Like, is there any way I can run over and cast healing no. word? No, the, I, um, after he dies, you can. Okay. Luke's like, I uh, um, l let me think. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm actually arguing against this. He, he said what he said, and he did what he did, and you, you can't really stop it. Yeah, but after he's dead, you can try and get him up if you want to. 
Um, well, nothing happens be, besides Jack, Jack shows mine fills with ecstasy again once he <laughs> understands the actual thing that's about to happen. It happens. The man's head explodes and Jack show can't help but promptly bow. <laughs> and you got your grip point. Yippee! I... <laughs> well, <laughs> Nixie kind of like looks towards the man, looks towards Jack show, just completely neutral expression. You know... We could have had him um, fill the forest with large, dangerous creatures to impede the uh, approach of our captors. I don't know if but, a hummingbird would help. So, <laughs> no, but see, those wolves certainly would. They're small. Anyways, you see Phil's anyway. like fists clench and unclench and his jaw like tightens as he turns to you and goes, Why in the world would you shoot somebody randomly? It wasn't random. It was purely calculated. But why? It, well, tell me the reason he had to die. Tell me. Well, give me any reason that you thought in your brain that you're just killing a person out of random is something fine. He wasn't in the name of art. He was selfish. He wanted to enlarge creatures that did not want to be enlarged. And it wasn't even in the name of beautifying the world. And yet... My weapons, my puppets have danced, and they have done their duty. Yeah, I feel like he was just trying to make a quick buck off of those rats. And besides, he was doing catastrophic Probably. damage to this ecosystem. If that pack of wolves was trying to keep the balance of something in here, uh, that balance is now gone. And if anything, we should go around and kill all of the animals that were enlarged. It would be the humane thing to do. What's the large squirrel got to do with anything? <laughs> <laughs> Just kill him. Phil, I want him though. I want to keep that one. Phil is still like slightly like shaking in anger, but he turns away and walks up to him and basically just like walks up to the corpse. And I don't think at this point healing words going to work. He'll probably be like revivify or something. So he he just kind of just just sits there like he falls on his knees like next to the corpse and just. Puts his head in his hands, just thinking. Oakley Malachi kind of is like... also going to walk up to the corpse, but instead of looking at it, he's going to rummage through the bag. <laughs> oh <laughs> my gosh! Oakley goes up to Phil and just kind of like rubs his head against. Um... Are you sitting down? Are you like? What are you yeah, doing? he's kind of like sitting down, his legs tucked under him. Okay, he's like sitting down, kind of rubbing against his, against him a little bit, and kind of just like you know, helps him out. Is, uh, Eli, is there any spare rope around? Um, rope, string, anything <laughs> like that? Yeah, there's there's a bit of rope in, in a pile near the table. Okay. What is, are there any hooks? Hooks? Yeah, like anywhere. At all. I don't know what you mean by that, but I'm gonna say no. There are no hooks. There are no meat hooks, I guess. If that's uh no for. no 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 just hooks to to hang things on clothing okay yeah, fine rack oh, okay a no any racks at all like uh bars this is just a cave where he was okay doing just a some cave. experiments very cavey cave it's very I, cavey, cavey cave after a minute of phil just kind of sitting there thinking he stops shaking and stops being what seems to be noticeably angry and he stands up and walks over to jack show and says I can understand the justification in this killing, but just know, I am very, very firmly against reckless killing for no reason. Like, senseless like, killing. I what did I find in the bag? How many times must I say this? I understand the purpose because he was creating animals that could technically hurt the ecosystem and people, but killing people for the sake of just art is not something I consider. Bunch of environmentalists. <laughs> <laughs> In in the bag, you find a a little pouch with um. Oh, one moment, you find a pouch with about ten silver inside. Oh, this man was poor. <laughs> <laughs> as well That's probably as probably why he was trying to sell rat's milk. It's not why he was trying to sell rat's milk. <laughs> <laughs> it's like nobody knows that, Eli. <laughs> as, as well as a. <clears throat> as well as a, oh god, a orb, a not an orb, a, a arcane focus orb. It just ah. looks like 
the wizard's arcane focus. Doesn't yeah, seem do, magical. Do we know his name? He did not say his name. Are there any journals around? Any papers? Anything? Uh, yeah. There's there's some in his in um on the table. I'd say. Can I can I look for a name of sort if he left like signed anything? Oh God. <laughs> I know you probably didn't have a name. I, I Phil needs this. Hey, first time DM's getting his uh, getting his fill in. Make him work. Yep. <laughs> That's right. Make him work. Um, you, you Build see. a story for us. <laughs> you see, uh, there, there's a journal on on the table that the dog was previously on. Um, on the first page of the table, it says, or on the first page of the journal, it says accounts from Corliss. Uh, Cor Corliss Willard. Can you put it in chat, maybe? Yeah. Uh, and you see Phil take out a book and what? scribble what seems to be his name and then other words alongside of it as he looks quite sad. Inside Oakley's of the... also, um, sorry. Yeah, yeah, go, ahead. go ahead. Oakley's also sitting beside him and just kind of, um, <laughs> he's like putting his paws over like the mess where his head used to be kind of like having this green kind of orb trying to heal him in a way but of course it's not working Aww. but <laughs> he's pathetic. just trying his best because he's kind of dumb <laughs> so um so, inside of this yeah phil this um if we continue adventuring i doubt this is the first person we'll kill so. I'm fine with killing. I'm not fine with senselessly killing. It was not uh. senseless. I refuse to refuse. Jack, we... We know. It's <laughs> just that some I've of our seen, views don't align. I've seen too much killing in my lifetime <laughs> that I don't want to see anymore for no reason. This is one of the first times I've seen someone <laughs> killed. They've been outside in general, really. But I... I think we did something good today. Or at least yes. that's what I'm telling myself. I agree. Plus, I got money from it, so... Oh, well... Nixie is, um, giving Phil a curious look. Oakley, uh, comes up from what he was doing and walks over to Phil and just says, um... I tried! <laughs> I, I tried to... I tried to revive him, but I'm not strong enough. He picks up Oakley and kind of... Just holds him and holds him out and says, Thank you. You have a very kind heart. Um, he just kind of nuzzles up to him. In... And Phil leaves this place immediately. He doesn't want to be here anymore. Before you I'll do that, in, in the journal that you looked inside, um, it, it says his name and it's basically accounting these experiments of trying to make animals bigger to... <clears throat> to create a cow-sized rat so that he can uh, spread rat milk around the kingdom of Sanas. Because apparently it's more nutritious than cow milk. But, <laughs> I'm just sad now! I'm but just much, sad. Okay. much harder to get than cow milk. Yeah, I'm trying to... Co I'm tr confused, like, how he's getting milk. <laughs> Didn't he hold up a bottle of it? He, yeah, he held up a bottle and he said... Can, can, I, can I take a swig? Sure. Oh my god. The <laughs> warm rat's milk that's been in a wizard's <laughs> pocket for who knows how long. <laughs> he said that it takes 22 minutes. Why did you have to, to make say it one like bottle that? of rat's milk? <laughs> he said it takes what 22 What does it taste like? It just tastes like a sweeter milk. Like it tastes better wow. than normal milk. Mmm. Sweet. Pete pockets it. <laughs> uh, walking Jack along. Jack Jack shows interested in taking the journal uh, uh, for himself. Oh, you'll have to take it from Phil. No, He's already Phil pocketed it. it. Oh, oh, okay, okay. And um, okay. also, I need Malachi to Malachi and Nixie to roll Arc Arcana checks. Okay. I'd say you notice. Oh, also, I forgot to mention there are a few cages with some rats inside of them, off to the side. And Didn't you say that there were like magic around. tools on the desk? Can I take those too? I don't. Did I? I don't think I said that. Imag I'd imagine it's just like materials. And yeah, it's just okay. like um, just charcoal or something. But you do know. Yeah, there were just like wizard materials for casting spells. 
you do notice the hat that this man used to wear. Seems kind of magical. Malachi. I'm gonna grab the hat. <laughs> you can grab the hat. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll send that to you in a second. <laughs> if that's all you guys want to do, then... <laughs> Could someone help me with this dog? It's actually kind of heavy. Oh, uh, it sure. It doesn't, it doesn't look very heavy. <laughs> Malachi it's walks over. Poodle. Thank you, Malachi. I appreciate that. Mm. It's not exactly a poodle. It's more of a doodle. <laughs> strength, is, strength is not my strong suit. Not I mine either. Help. <laughs> uh, who are you asking help from? Mal uh, uh, Malachi? Just or anyone. Anyone? <laughs> um, ja Jack Show comes over to uh, take the pup. Malachi's like trying to put the hat on, see if it works on him. Um, I'm not sure if this should take. I'm just gonna go ahead and send it to you. Yeah, like, while they're doing this, mm -hmm. I take a shovel out of my kit and I start burying the man. Oh, okay. Um, and I make a makeshift tombstone and I say, um, Nixie. Rat Milk Man <laughs> with his name. Nixie is going to walk over and, um, actually help him. Uh, what is grave. this? Just a little bit. It's a very good item. Um, uh, oh, uh, hey, uh, yeah, we're gonna mute that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nixie, Nixie kind of like looks over at Phil. You said you've seen a lot of senseless killing in your time. You, I have, I've seen way more than I'm comfortable with. Phil. Yes. Does it ever get old? Killing? Yes. It was old from the first time. She looks a little confused. From what I see, killing does one or two things to a person. It makes them more hard and more unfeeling, or it makes them kinder. And for me, it did the latter. Or the, yeah. I would certainly not consider myself a kind person. She kind of she kind of looks a little concerned. I suppose I know where I stand on that then. Do have you seen also a lot of senseless killing? She kind of gives a sad half smile. My first was when I was 13. I'm sorry, Nixie. Don't be. I'm the one who stabbed the knife. But you're also the one that takes that with you. I'm having trouble understanding exactly what it's doing to me. I'll have to think about this more. You've given me very interesting insight, Phil Cassiopeia. You're welcome. I hope I could do more. I think I hope so, too. And he gives you, for the first time in this whole thing, he kind of looks at you and smiles. And he uh, pats you on the back as he continues to fill up the grave. Still looking a little um, confused and deep in thought, Nixie's going to stand up and walk back towards the entrance of the cave. After a bit of time, you have successfully buried the rat milk man. <laughs> <laughs> and Malachi, you now understand what this hat does. Unfortunately. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm and, so scared. Oh, no. and yes, the, the items that were around were just like spell casting items. I forgot what the correct wording for it was. Like okay. the things that you need to cast it, in large. They don't look valuable, do they? They do not uh, look very valuable. I mean, Okay. For example, jump requires a grasshopper's leg. A pinch of powdered ah. iron. So there was like a a, Ooh. a bit of <laughs> a cup or what's the right word? A jar full of powdered iron. I'm gonna take it. Alright, you can do that. No, no, it is a pinch. Oh no, he yeah. had the jar. Okay. But he had a jar of it. Gotcha. He was trying to figure out how to make enlarged slash reduced last forever. So mm -hmm. 
everyone, I have uh, acquired the knowledge of this hat. And I know where he was getting the rats from. Pray tell. Nixie slowly looks over. He. What does that mean? Takes off the hat and says, Rat in a hat! <laughs> and a rat pops out of the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> no way. <laughs> It pops out of the hat and starts scurrying around and runs into the forest. No way. Oh, fun magic trick for five-year-olds. <laughs> Who would go through the trouble to... I don't want to know. I don't want to know. And she just starts walking in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> I know my magic, but I don't know what that was. <laughs> Why would anyone spend time making that? <laughs> um, <sighs> I, I did say that there was a cage full of rats inside the cave, right? Yeah. Yeah, you did. yeah. just making sure. Well, if that is all you guys would like to do there, you guys can go ahead and start making your way back to town. You will return. We have the... Victoriously. Are we just going to speed through? Uh, I assume you guys don't want to kill all of the other animals, do you? No, I'm not no. a squirrel murderer. Jack Show wants to nuke the forest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... I'll set it on fire. No, 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 no. <laughs> so you make your way back to town, uh... and right as you get through the gate, the dog wakes up and is just oh. uh, like laying over your shoulder. I think Jack Show had it. Yes, and I did. It's licking your face. <laughs> no, thank you. Here you is your... Ant... What? You, you spilled ant blood all over me and that scare... freaks you out? Really? <laughs> it doesn't freak me out. I, uh... I don't want this. So, yeah, here. Someone, uh... Can, may have this. Absolutely. I don't want it. I kind of hold out the dog for someone else to take. Fine, I'll grab the dog. <laughs> After a little while, you make you make it back to the tavern and walk inside. Hey, you got the dog. Thank you we so much. We got the much. dog. We certainly did. What did I say I was going to give you guys? Uh, syrup. A bottle of syrup. A week a week of free food. Yeah, a week of free yes. food. Yes. A week of free food. <laughs> and syrup, I believe. And syrup. I did request For... syrup. Or <laughs> not, I... Okay, I'll, I'll get you guys some food made. It's uh, probably about lunchtime now, and I think that's where we're going to end the session. Woo! Hey, Let's go. All right.